with that, we are we are logged on. We're online. Hey, welcome back, everybody, or welcome for the first time. This is Queersoft. I'm Jesse, and on our series of good gay games, we're playing something real different, really very different. Dark Souls Remastered. You might be asking yourself, what about you know what's what's gay about this game? Let me tell you, everything. It'll make sense. We'll we'll meet a character later who was really inspirational to me and like is has a very very uh, fond place in my heart. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. For uh, for the moment, we have a character to make. And you also might notice, uh, hey, new new format. I gotta move my head over here, otherwise, yeah, I, my dumb dumbass face has to be on the other side. Because if it was back on the uh, original side, on the left, like it usually is, I'd block my health bar, which wouldn't be so good. I feel like that's going to be important, especially in uh, in a Souls game. Also, uh, now playing down there in the bottom left corner, not playing any music right now because uh, this this character creation song is, I don't know, it is just so magical and cool and I love this song so much. But uh, later on in the series, because Dark Souls is like with the exception of boss fights and some like very specific zones, like Firelink Shrine, our main hub has its own music, but most of the game it's completely silent, so I'm going to be playing some background music. Um, I've made a big old playlist of songs that I really like, really important to me, and also, most importantly, don't belong to giant copyright holders, so uh, hopefully I won't get my ass sued. That would be really cool. Um, if that does happen, though, like, uh, the process of, like, during our live stream, you can play, and this is true for anybody, during your stream, you can play whatever music you want. It's just that um, afterwards in your video, if there's copyrighted audio, uh, t Twitch or the copyright owner will just like silence that whole part of the video. Uh, so I've asked a lot of the uh, artists that I'm going to be like in this like 27 hour playlist I have, I've asked a lot of them, hey, is it cool if I use your music? And most of them have said, yeah, of course, no problem. Um, yeah, everyone I asked has been totally cool with that. And then the ones who weren't, I'm just obviously, you know, don't use their songs. It's that easy. Um, but if that does happen, if if somebody, uh, first off, if, yeah, if they hold the copyright and are like, hey, I don't appreciate that, no problem. I'll take the song out of my playlist. No problem at all. However, uh, the, you know, they might, they might silence the video later. So if you're watching this later and there's like a big old silent segment, I'm very sorry about that. That's, you know, it's just still a work in progress. So, uh, if that happens, if I, like, I'm gonna go and, and rewatch the video later, and if there's any, if there's any portions that have been silenced for copyrighted material, I'll go ahead and remove that song from the playlist. Um, most of these, though, are indie artists. Quite a few of them I know, and they're all, they're all really cool with that. You know, free, free publicity. I got their, you know, once the songs start playing, I'll have their name on screen. All that good stuff. Uh, first and foremost, though, we gotta pick a class. So, I have played... I have played way too much Dark Souls, mostly Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, those ones have my most hours, but I've played a lot of all of them, so um, I could easily go, like, any build is, is all good with me. Um, I do like, not that I like uh, Thief starting get up, I mean, I don't know, black leather, it's a little kinky, but most importantly, they have that master key though, even if I end up not picking Thief, I'm gonna pick the master key as my first item, because that one's just... It's just super useful to have. You can get through the back of a horrible, horrible area called Blight Town, and we're gonna need to do that. Um, I think Hunters may be the only one I like. Wouldn't be too enthused to play. They start with a bow, which is cool because you can cheese. Uh, you can cheesily get a really good weapon by like shooting something's tail off towards the beginning of the game. But I'm not gonna. I don't think we're gonna do that. And I could go for any build, but maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll start off with the knight. It's a classic good one. Has a little bit of faith, so I could like, you know, I could spec into being like a little bit of a paladin of some kind. That would be pretty groovy. We join the, uh, yeah, we could join the warriors of sunlight. It'd be good. And more healing is not gonna hurt. Oh gosh, oh, all of these sliders, they all suck a lot. But you know what? How about, how about, yeah, let's get some large lower body. Let's get some junk in that trunk. Look, look at that. Boom. We're big. All right, let's see. Oh, all of these faces are terrible. Oh, you know, even for this being HD remastered, these, these still suck a lot. <laughs> Most of these look really, mm, 
Mm, not good. I mean, maybe it's because they don't have hair. Maybe that makes it look a little weirder. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Hair, hair options are a little limited. Oh. Oh, God. These are also not good. Oh, no. These are also really not good. Why? Why, why, why? I mean, I guess that keeps that in line with the original game, but oh, that looks really bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that giant seam line. That goes all the way through. It looks like you just sewed two people's heads together. A little gross. All right, all right, that's fine. Um, we'll go with the bun then. I think, yeah, bun looks the best. Uh, I mean, I don't know that any of these faces matter a whole lot. I don't know that we'll be seeing our face that often anyways if you just hide behind a helmet. Yeah, we'll go with the default then. That's fine. Um, ooh, hell yeah, dark purple. That's good, that's real good. I mean, I like the silver too. Oh, and red is good too. Let's go with purple though. Yeah, let's go, let's go out of the box here. All right, character name. I could take this seriously, but I've been having, the name Chungles has been in my head all night. I'm really tempted, just name her Chungles. But uh, no, 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 let's, let's go with something. Surely we gotta have something cuter than that, right? Or, I mean, I could make some kind of abomination. It's very easy. Uh, if I go back to load, I, I made a little test character, and he, he looks like an absolute, just horrifying monstrosity. I could do that. It is very easy to do that in the Souls games. So if you get into this customized face area, oh, you can do some... Because it has this slider system, and it is, it's real weird. I think, I don't know, there's like, nothing about this slider system works super well. Everybody has these like, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion faces, and everybody looked like potatoes in that game, so, you know, not great. Not great. For being HD remastered, this is not a great looking character creator, but it was never that good in the beginning, so I guess they're keeping on brand? I guess that, yeah, it works. Makes sense. Alright. Let's see, what can we do here? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if I want to change it too much, otherwise we just get in a... Like, honestly, you touch those sliders a little bit and you go straight into monster territory. There's like no way around it. Alright, we got Master Key, we're looking, we're looking good, real juicy in our armor. Um, Alright, Gucci gang. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking Gucci. Gucci's been on my mind. It's very important. I mean, when is Gucci not on the mind? Gucci Knight with two T's. Good. I should have thought of a name beforehand. Again, Chungles. Chungles. You know, it's been in it's been in my head. Could be Chungles. <laughs> All right. You know what? Yeah, Chungles is calling to me. This is her. This is Chungles. Chungles the Knight. All right. Let's go. Oh, this is good. This this one cinematic is going to be most the of the lore we're going to get on this world for a long time. By fog. Ooh. The lore in the game is very, like, sparse. It's few and far in between. You can go through the whole game without knowing, like, a single thing about its story. But this right here, this cutscene's got the deets. Important stuff. But then there was fire. I'll just be over here eating my girlfriend's and leftover noodles. Don't mind me. Disparity. Oh, disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, all that good stuff. Light and dark. I don't think they remastered this cutscene at all, did they? This looks mostly the same. Then I guess I wouldn't be able to tell dark, if it's just pre done. And found the souls of lords within the flame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very important that they find that, because that sets forth basically everything. Nito, the first of Real the fucking Nito. There he is. There's our bone daddy. It's him. I love. He's one of my favorite bosses. The witch of Isaly and her daughters of chaos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights. All of these characters are going to be big players in the, the story of all and of these the games. Furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. It's true, don't forget. Don't forget the pygmy, very important. 
you will be tested on all of this. There's an exam coming up. They challenge the dragons. Yep. Dragons used to rule the world, because, you know, why wouldn't they? Luckily, our Zeus ripoff here can shoot lightning. Fire against dragons seems like it would be weak, but you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. What up? Yeah, Nito, you get him. Ah, uh, yes. Also, an important player. See the scaleless dragon. He got picked on for being scaleless, so of course he's gonna be like, hey, fuck you guys. Yep, that's that is but the current timeline we're living in. The flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Only dark souls. <laughs> that's what every Dark Souls NPC sounds like, by the way. Even now, there are only embers. They just talk quietly and then just start. <laughs> every single one. I'll show you. Okay, maybe not him. Oh, he could. You know, it's never too late. It's never too late to unleash a good Dark Souls laugh. That last thing is going to be really important, too. Because that's the reason for our whole adventure. Ooh! Okay. Okay. Now I can see. Yes, I can see the indeed. parts that definitely look remastered. The dark sign brands the, the fire does look a lot better, and the lighting in this area is a lot more dramatic. Oh. Hey, bony boy, I'll see and you in, in a bit. Land, yep. This really is just like Elder Scrolls Core. We start out in prison. Yep. Same game, basically the same. Oh, hey, guy. Whether yeah, you'll get out of that cage at one point. To await the end of the world. End of the world. Yep. So basically, we got shoved in here with all these others, cause uh This oh, yeah. is your fate. This is fate. We were uh we had that cursed dark sign on us and they were like, oh fuck. We know that these people come back to life, so we gotta chain them up forever. So that they can't they can't do some shit can't go and fuck everything up, which we will do. Don't you worry, that is the plan today. Oh, ooh, there we are, looking hot. Oh, hello. We made our first friend. Uh, there's our real friend. Look at that knight up there. The classic Dark Souls armor. Oh, there he goes. All right, well, he's just here to deposit a body and then head on his way. Ooh, the item pickup thing is also, okay. That's solid, that actually, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for the remaster. All right, there's our key, and here we are. Oh, looking, damn, looking thick, y'all. All right, open that dungeon cell key. I'm guessing, yeah, all of these messages are just gonna be, yep, tutorial stuff. See, there's a, uh, there's all our friends who are chilling out here. I'll keep praying, boy. See if that makes a difference. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm they tell us how to attack. We can, we can give this guy a good, good thrashing with our broken sword. All right, get it. This is it. This is mm, riveting combat. Oh, there's another dead one down there. Oh, oh, ooh, wow. Hello. I don't think I noticed any of that before. Oh, and there's there's our biggest boy yet. Look at the size of that unit over there. Hey, what's up? Y'all mind if I face my hand through the wall? All right. Well, you didn't seem to notice. I guess we're not making our first friend today. Can I show you my friendship stick? No. Nope. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't like that either. Guess we're not making friends there. All right, what what horrors lie in wait? Oh man, it's been okay. So I like, I love, I absolutely adore all of the Souls games, but it is it's been a hot while since I've played any of them. Um, so we'll see if I remember all of this stuff. I think I'm I'm remembering the controls, though I've played Dark Souls three the most, and Dark Souls three made quite a few like quality of life changes that these other games don't have 
So it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say if I will actually remember all of this because they don't they don't play entirely the same, even though it seems like they should. Hey, the big boy's here. All right. Well, you can't actually stay here and fight him, but you do like two damage per swing. And all right. Yep. <laughs> I'll just go in there and the boss fight music just cuts off instantly. What a good effect. You can't stay and fight, um, and if you do actually manage to kill him with just the broken sword, or your fist, because you can unequip that, uh, you do get... He does drop his weapon. Oh, don't want to get hit by that. Alright, ooh, okay, good, good, good. Our first shield. Dark Souls is uh, admittedly a much more difficult game without a shield, though a good dex build can be very fun. Um... Because I know the knight, I think, is the only character who starts with their equipment load, like, above... What is it? There's a certain threshold. It's it's based on your uh, it's based on your endurance stat in this game. There it is. Equipment load. We're at 29 out of 50. I think, yeah, that, that slightly goes over. See, if we go to... Yeah, if we take our helmet off, we lose a little bit of weight, which means we can do a, a regular roll instead of the... Uh... Oh, wait. Are we good? We good, actually? No, if we equip the broadsword, there it is. Yeah, we're back to doing that one. Throw your shoulder into it. Alright, we don't exactly want to do that, so... Uh... Oh, no, we're still doing that even if we do that. Can we equip our gloves? Ouch! Rude! Okay, there we go. See, we've got the slightly better roll now. And then if you if you go one step more, like, I'm sure if I got rid of all my armor, we'd be able to do the, the fastest roll, which is great, because that comes with the most invulnerability frames. Yeah, there it is. You can't do this little little jumpy hop, and it's like the quickest one. Yeah, anything more than that, and we just... Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Look at us, though. Damn. I love I love it. That's my... My ideal girl is a flabby bits of dead bacon. Looks really good. I... I can I... You gonna link me to that skincare routine? Mm, you know, I'm interested. Oh, we got an item up there. Oh, but we can't get that just yet. Not yet. Oh, okay, that's right. This is a dead end. We need to go the other way. Eventually, we can come back and get that item, but not today. I don't think we will in this entire playthrough. I mean, I mean, in this playthrough eventually, but not today today. Oh, oh, there's the... Yep, there's the ball. That goes in there and just smacks that. That's good. Very first time playing, I, uh, I definitely got rolled over by that thing. Dark Souls is not, you know... I mean, everybody knows the reputation of Dark Souls. They're not afraid to kill you over and over. And then, unfortunately, in here is... Oh, uh, there's our boy. The boy who gave us the key oh, to get out of here. You. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. Thank I'm goodness. done for, I'm afraid. Everybody Old talks in a really... Men really quiet sanity. British accent. I wish to ask something That's what you. Dark Souls sees. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? I think I look a lot more undead than you do right now. Yeah, I'll hear him out, of course. I have failed in my mission. But Shh, epic fail, gamers, am I right? There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. There it is. We oh. get our first healing item. Oh, and this. Oh, and oh. more goodies. Oh, that's right. He's now got the key to get out of here. This guy's just a man of keys. Death. So go now. And thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Says he doesn't want to harm us after death because he's going to get up just like we are. And not everybody gets to keep their sanity like we did. Also, <laughs> one of my favorite things about this dialogue with him is he's like, is what he says is, oh, I have, there's a saying in my family. And then proceeds to go on this big ol', oh, in, in thine divine exodus, go and ringeth the bell of awakening. Like, that's, that's the saying that runs in his family, that big ol' thing. The saying that runs in my family is you poop in one hand and wish in the other and see which one fills up faster. Like... The sayings are very different between our families, it seems. Also, I heard the death sound and we just got some souls, which means... Yep, he's dead. He's gone now. Oddly enough, he disappears, which doesn't exactly make a whole lot of sense, because we... Anyway, spoiler alert, we'll find him again later. 
just once though. There's uh I think there's a big ol' like huge cut content thing where he was supposed to like follow you throughout the entire game and be kinda like your Gary Oak rival. Alright. There's one hit. I forgot. I'm still learning all the the movesets. Uh, they change quite a bit in the games. Like I think yeah, I think the power attack for the broadsword eventually becomes a stab in Dark Souls 3. Or am I thinking of a different straight sword? I could be. Alright, get these archers out of here. It's handy that we had our shield. And hello! There we go, we get to find our first first enemy with a shield. Luckily, we're on even footing. That's a great thing. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a great thing about Dark Souls, really, is that in a lot of ways, you get to be on even footing with quite a few of your enemies. I mean, not always. Oh, I mean... Yeah, like like with giant asylum de demon, we are obviously not on the same footing. The boy's big, we're not so big, but like that, that was another sword and shield guy, and he can heal just like we can, and it's it's really cool. I really am debating if I if I want the big rolls or do I want slightly better armor. I think I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna go in naked. Yeah, there he is. There's the big boy. Let's get the drop on him. Yeah, big stabby right in the neck. Now that's a huge chunk of his health gone. And we now do 38 damage instead of the uh, abysmal 2 that we did before. Good stuff. Alright. Yeah, I am I do kind of like not wearing any armor for this fight. Because he's really slow. And it pays to be fast. Whoop. Get on out of there. Right, give him a running slash. Going. And then it also helps to like... Uh, okay, alright, alright. Get out of there. See ya. The knight also starts with a... Yeah, the shield has a 100% physical resistance. Alright, yeah, roll right through that one. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting him to be the second hit, but that's fine, it's fine. Oh, roll out of that, good. I mean, we might have been saved to that one, honestly. We might have been out of the hitbox, but still, it doesn't hurt to roll. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Alright, there we go. I mean... Yeah, obviously I'm. I don't know. I'm a little bit, a little bit experienced in the Dark Souls series. Not that I'm an expert by any means, but that first fight is is such a good little like. All right, this is the world. It's cruel and unforgiving. Here you go. And then they start you off with a broken sword and no gear, and you're like, oh shit, what do I do? And then you you loop around, you get stronger, and you come back and you finish them off. And that's kind of like. Do that little thing with absolutely no dialogue or tutorials. They kind of teach you, like, the whole, just the whole, like, rinse and repeat of this game is that you fight something, you might not be strong enough to do it, therefore you go get better equipment, get stronger, and then come back. Like, really simple, small thing, but that's kind of like, they oh, keep that. They keep that consistently the through the entire, ages, like, dated. as the game goes on. That's us! Whee! We got chosen by the Big Bird. Not to be confused with Big Bird from Sesame Street. Those feathers aren't yellow. Asylum in pilgrimage. That's us! Just like in... Uh, to the land of the ancient lords. Just like the family saying of his that is passed down in, yep, in thine Lord divine Red. pilgrimage or whatever. Lordran, here we go. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it, but there's, yeah, cut content with that, that knight we see at the beginning. Um, I think they, they call him Oscar of Astora is his name, so like most people who are like big fans know him by that, but admittedly he, you know, officially he doesn't actually have a name in this version, and this is the final version, so I gotta take it for what it is. Alright, here we are. Firelink Shrine. This is gonna be a very, very important place. Oh my gosh. Oh, the music that plays here is... Ooh, it's very nostalgic for me very quickly. Ooh, okay, okay. All right. So, uh, looks like the remaster lets you change covenants, like, on the fly like that. That's pretty sick. Uh, and we have a little bit of experience, or souls, as they're called. That's your big currency for, like, everything. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of souls that we can use to level up a little bit. Um, yeah, let's raise endurance to 12 and faith to 12. I like those even numbers. All right, looking good, team. We only have 46 souls left over, because when we die, we'll lose them, and I'm uh, not exactly fond of that. Wow. Hey, bud. Oh, this is our first very Dark Souls NPC. Let me guess. 
state of the undead, right? Well, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. Oh, well, since you're here, let me help you. Give me goods, give me goods. Oh, actually, two bells of awakening. Yes, the bells we must ring it on pilgrimage. Undead church. The other is far, far below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Yep. Ring them both. And something happens. Brilliant, right? And something <laughs> happens. Brilliant. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, what we found. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> <laughs> every, I swear to you, every Dark Souls NPC, they're all like this. You're practically hollow. I'm beautiful. What the fuck are you talking about? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so going hollow when you're a when you're a big old skelly boner like me, that's what happens when you you revive and you don't recover your sanity or your your humanity, as one might like, is quite physically exists in the world. All right. Here we are. Yeah, at this point you're you're out of the like tutorial zone. You're free to just go wherever and do whatever, which is great. Hello. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. This boy even I thicker than we are. Petrus of Thoiland. with us. If not, I prefer to keep a distance if possible. Rude, rude dude. You know I can Hello I can there. respect your desire I for a that I have requested solitary that confinement, but distance. but I also want you to know. That it is not meant in ill will. Here, there we go. Take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh, see, he's not so bad. He gave us a coin. Oh my. The coin ain't worth oh anything because there ain't no currency oh, besides I souls. Know. But How thanks, about dude. This? I have to awake my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Ooh. Would that please you? Miracles? This does. It pleases well. me. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. The knight, the knight, and the cleric start out in the way of white covenant. That's like the first covenant you meet, which are like little alliances you can join. Sweet. Let me learn that shrug gesture. Really important. Good stuff. All right, we're in the covenant, and he's got. Ooh, that's right. He actually starts out with some decent miracles. Um. Actually, never mind. These are these are kind of okay. Great heal excerpt is not. It's a big heal, but you can only use it once. Uh, oh yeah, homeward just returns you to the last bonfire you rested at. Force a little tiny explosion around you. Seek guidance is probably the dumbest one. It just means that more messages show up on the ground. But you know, if it's your first playthrough and you don't know where you're going, it's not terrible. Um, heal is the one we want, though. That cost. Unfortunately, I just spent all of our souls, which means I can't get it. And then we also we also need a talisman to cast it. Miracles are casted by these things. That one's specifically for for this Come boy. Again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I've played an RPG before. I promise. Okay. I know there's some there's some secret hidden goodies up and around here somewhere. Oh, that that's an elevator, which is not active. So if you jump in there, you sentence yourself to death. Uh, there we go. There's a secret soul up here, and then... Gonna fucking hit that yeet! Yeah, there we go! Let me drop down here. Ouch, took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. And we got, yeah, we got some goody treasure chests over here. Cracked red eye orbs are the PvP item. That's how you invade people. Messed up stuff. There we go, that's what I was looking for. You can get a free talisman over here, and a morning star. Ooh, and six homeward bones is also good. Good stuff to have. Um, looks like our broadsword does just about the same damage as our Morning Star. Morning Star has a little bit of bleed effect, though, but it does weigh one more pound. I'll try it. I think a lot of things too in Dark Souls specifically, like, doesn't depend so much on your stats all the time. Depends a lot more if if you like the move set or not. And if you don't like the move set, then don't use the weapon. That's that's my big advice. A lot of people are like, what's the what's the best weapon? What's the easiest weapon? And like honestly, de depends on what like you're comfortable using. And that's 
You can take that to the bank. That's just good advice anywhere, right? Oh, Lloyd's Talisman is good. That stops people from healing. So, like, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. This is this is a classic pitfall. This, I, this got me the first time. I didn't know where to go. And then you see this graveyard over here, and you're like, great, I'll go here. But you do, like, no damage to these guys, and you should just leave. Though you can. The first time, yeah, the first time I was playing this game, I ran right over there, and I died many times, and I was like, oh, my God. This game is too hard. I get it. I get why people say this game is so hard. But no, I was just being dumb. They were trying to... They were trying to tell me that, hey, you shouldn't go to this area. Not right away. Oh, oh okay. They're still following me. Hey, guys. Whoa, what's up, gamers? Please get me out of here. Thank you. There, there are some more goodies I could grab around here, but that's okay. I'll have to get them later. I think for the moment, we're going to have to leave Firelink Shrine. There's nothing else for us here. And then we'll, we'll start our divine pilgrimage. Ooh, you know what? I could... Uh, I could... I could kindle that bonfire. That's okay. That's okay. I don't need to do that right now. For the moment, though, I guess... Get ready to tussle with some baddies up here. I think I will put on a little bit of armor. Like, as long as we're not doing, like, the, the big shoulder fat roll, I think we're okay. Um, there we go. I can actually wear the helmet with this now. Or would I rather wear gauntlets? I'm going purely based on fashion souls right now. I don't think... I don't think wearing the gauntlets is better than the helmet necessarily, but don't I just look more heroic being a knight with no helmet? That's like, that's like the thing. That's what heroes do. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. The gauntlets causes me to, to do the big old... the big roll. Never... Okay, never mind. That does too. I guess we'll just stick with this then. There we go. Because they don't actually tell you, which is unfortunate. You just kind of have to know what, like, the right ratio of equip load is, and then just try your best. It's not great. It's not perfect. I think they get that a little bit better in the later games. They actually show you the ratio, and then if you go over... I think if you go over, like, 69.9% is when you start doing, like, the, the big fat roll, which is not that helpful. It does come with a little bit of uh, invulnerability frames, or eye frames as they're called, but you know, obviously the faster rolls are always are always better, because that's less time you have to sit there and wait for recovery. Alright, after we leave this area though, there's gonna be no music, so let's play some funky tunes. Alright, what's Shuffle gonna put on for us first? Alright, look, looks like Tex is working out down there. Can you even hear the music? Okay, I can kinda hear it. Um, as always, like, I'm experimenting with this, so uh, if you can tell me if these levels are good or not, I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, because I can't, I can't always tell what it's going to be like on the other side. I try and watch, um, like, I try and watch my recordings after they're done, just to assure the most, like, stream quality and all that good stuff. And, you know, see where, what can I do to improve, because there's always room for improvement. Ow! Yeah! Like, looking where I'm going so I don't run into, ow, that shit. Yikes, that wasn't great. That was a little, that was a little sloppy on my part. To be fair, I totally forgot that, whoop. Oh, oh, I ran into that too. Okay. Yeah, give me, uh, it's gonna take me a little bit to get reacclimated to the, the joys of Dark Souls 1. But I forgot that in this game, you can't move while taking the Estus Flask. In the later games, you can move a little bit, which is a huge help. All right. Oh, no, no, no. I see this guy sneaking up behind me. No, thank you. Sometimes, most definitely, the camera is your worst enemy. They have a lock-on button, which helps a lot of times for smaller enemies, but sometimes it's just, it's hell, and then it gets you trapped. Or, like, you're fighting a boss that's, like, just fuck all three stories tall, and, like, you're just, there's nothing you can do about that. He's just, he's just a big boy, and, like, you got nothing else for it. Okay, there's some, there's some treasure over there, which I do kind of want. I think it's... I think it's one of those rings where if you die, you don't lose anything. Getting over there can be pretty risky, though. Uh, I want it, but you know what? I'll come back later, because eventually a merchant moves over there. See, I'm remembering. I'm remembering quite a few Dark Souls things. There's there's that jump move, which can be a little difficult to do, because it's the same button as your sprint button, and you need to get a running start. It's, yeah. They change that later, too. You can rebind it to the, uh, what is it, like the left thumbstick in the later games, which becomes super helpful. All right sneak up here. Ooh, we got more more goods to grab. I was gonna say, like, that looks really darn good. It's not, like, it's not as high fidelity as I would have expected from the remaster, but they gave it to me half off, so, like, you know, I'll take it. Oh, oh, hello, rat. 
Got our first little rat friend, the first of many. Oh, he didn't drop a humanity. The rats have a chance to drop humanities, which become really, really important. Alright, let's sludge to the water here, and then... Hang on, is she over here? Is she over here? Oh no, we have to open that. Later on, like, further down the sewers, there's one of those. One of those very Dark Souls characters who's like, I'm going to talk in a low British accent and then he 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 he. And that's just what they do. And that's that's Welcome to Dark Souls, baby. Undead bird. This is like the first real area. Try jumping. Oh, that's true. There actually is goods down there. I could do that. Uh, I kind of want to open that fog door first, though. A lot of uh, segments in the game are divided by these these fog doors. And I thought, I thought for sure that like, I don't, uh, okay, I don't know this for certain. Okay, all right, we got out of there, it's all good. Again, I don't know this for certain. Oh, hello. Ooh, sneaky Pete over here trying to get behind me, I see you. Do a jump and attack, nice, good. I remember how to pull that off. Um, I, I heard a rumor that like in the first Souls game, Demon Souls, they had these like fog doors as a way to like separate loading areas, but I think, <laughs> Oh god, the ragdoll physics are so good. Um, mostly though, I think, especially in these later games, it's just, it's the style. It's the style and ease. The steez, one might say. And it's also like, doing that helps to, like, ambiance, you know? Builds tension. Alright, let's see. Dead end. No, it's not a dead end, right? Oh, it's a dead end if you're coming up that way. Alright, who's in here? Somebody's in here, right? Something we want. Oh, there we go. It's a lost soul over here. It's definitely gonna be more treasure around here. Oh, well that ain't great. That's not so good. Which means we have to go out this way. No. Oh, hey, hey guys. What's up? I can't attack them while they're climbing up. Mm, whack. All right, he's gonna do the crazy flail. Yep, and I'm gonna jump on him. Hit that yeet. That's good. I, you pretty much never find anything in broken barrels or anything, but just. The physics are fun. It's fun to just roll with the pots and pans and stuff. You know, people have been breaking pots since classic Zelda, so like, it's just, oh. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? I, uh, I, I see you're hanging out there. You wanna maybe uh, drop by some other time, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> oh shit, okay, hi, hey, what's up? What's up gamers? There's more, there are more gamers. They've come to play. Hey guys, all right, get them out of here. Oh, rubbish. Rubbish is quite literally, no. <laughs> Amazing item! Alright, you know what, I'll write that up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, I think rubbish is the one item in the whole game that doesn't have any uses at all. So good. I'm glad somebody somebody left that amazing item note, because that really, that really explains it all. Uh, what do we have over here? I actually don't remember. Oh, good. It's another humanity. Humanities are going to become real important. If we don't want to be like floppy bacon skin, that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need to collect as many of those humanities as possible. Oh, hello. It's an item I need to grab. Oh, okay, it's just another soul. All right, now I gotta run. Oh, oh, shit, what? He was just hanging out down here? I thought we were already down here. Didn't we already go this way? We did. Where did that guy come from? Maybe he was trying to climb up and I just missed him. Wow, okay, all right, good. We got our first jump scare of the day. Got that over with. Nice, good. All right, help me climb up here. Uh, okay, okay. Head back this way. Doo, 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 doo. All right, I think the music's a little quiet. I might turn that up on my end, but again, let me know if I can turn that up on like the stream settings as well. If you want that to be a little louder or not. Maybe not, you know. If you don't wanna tell me right now, you can tell me later, it's all good. If somebody's watching this video later and is like, well, that, that kind of sounds not so good. And you can hit me up later, and I will gladly fix that for future streams. Can I make this jump? I actually don't remember. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. I feel like I can make that jump. There's definitely a way to get up there. There's something hidden up there. I just don't remember if it's from jumping across this broken little bridge thing. Shoot. Dang. I thought I would remember a lot more, but I'm actually forgetting quite a few things. Okay, maybe I can't make that jump. Or whatever. If I can, I'll come back to it later. I don't remember what's over there. I feel like if it was really important, I would have remembered it more. Oh, hey, what's up? All right, what is that? That's a little Drake friend. It's it's the Drake. It's him. It's the rapper and singer. It's him. 
All right, block that. Oh, uh, just a little bit more damage. I heard that arrow coming, though. See, that's what I'm saying, dude. The camera locked onto your enemy is great, but it doesn't show you a lot of incoming threats when you need to see them. The camera really can ooh, be your worst enemy. Uh, having your weapon collide with terrain and then stopping midway is also one of the worst enemies. Alright, we need to get that guy up there. I need to get my Mr. Man up here. Hello? Ooh. What is that sign on the ground? Oh, uh, okay, it's Gravelord. No wonder, no wonder I didn't recognize that sign. Because the Gravelord Covenant didn't exactly work in the first release of Dark Souls, which is kind of ridiculous. Or at least it wouldn't work through, like, your first playthrough. I think you had to, you had to be on, like, your second, like, in New Game Plus it would work. Oh, nice. Kick the shield, make him drop his guard. Ooh, ouch, that was bad. Oh, that was really bad. I'm out of stamina. I couldn't roll. Oh, now he's gonna heal. Oh, he healed twice. That's fine. Alright, heal yourself in hell, pal. Alright, no. Mm, I thought he left himself open, but I guess not. I haven't gotten... Oh, okay, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I forgot that mm, original Dark Souls is a lot less forgiving than the later games, I think. Hey, there we go. There's our first backstab. That's the one thing that first original Dark Souls is ridiculously forgiving with, is backstabs. The backstab window is huge. Oh, hey, I see you. I see you back there. You ain't fooling nobody. Come on out. There it is. Surprise. Yeah, you like that surprise? Did I do anything for you? Oh, I love this song. Oh, that's a good song. I have a bunch of remixes of this song too, which are, and every single one is good. Hey, well now. Well, now. You have your about you. Oh. Then you are a welcome customer. Our very first oh, merchant. Everything's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying with these guys? Let's see. Uh, repair powder, throwing knife, firebomb, Lloyd's talisman. Oh, he has the dried finger now. Okay, that's definitely new. Because you used to find the dried finger a lot later on. That's good. I'm, I'm glad they uh, in the remaster you can get that earlier. Oh, I want that key. That's a really useful key. Um, oh, and he has all kinds of cool, groovy weapons. I like a lot of these. Mm. Oh, yeah, and he has the chain armor, which is what, uh, which is what the crestfallen guy over at Firelink Shrine wears. I think our knight armor is, is better. I mean, uh, Chainmail does weigh a little bit less, but I think I'm okay with what we've got. Quite a few good weapons here. Though I think a lot of these are more dexterity-based weapons, which we don't have a whole lot of. Oh, he does have a club. That's more strength-oriented. But if I really wanted that, we have a Morning Star as well. Oh, and a spear. Spear could be useful. I definitely like I like the thrust weapons. You know, everybody, uh, everybody needs a good thrust every now and then. Uh, I don't think we need any of these shields, but some of these smaller shields, like bucklers, have like a, a bigger window for parries, which is cool. I kind of, I haven't done it yet, but I definitely wanted to make a character who was like, uses a rapier and like a, like a, a small shield and is like a, a fencer type of character. I'm talking like some real revolutionary girl Utna shit, but no, maybe not today. I guess I'll buy the residence key, which is unfortunate because I didn't want to spend all those souls. We just accumulated quite a few souls there, but that's that's okay. We'll need that key eventually, and it pays to not have to go and run back here to the merchant. Okay, does this door open at this point? It does. What the heck can we find in here? I actually don't remember. Oh, oh okay, there's just a little window outside. Wooden shield, which is worse than ours, but if you picked one of the classes that doesn't start with a shield, that is real useful. Alright, heading here. Here it is. This one's gonna be real important. This bonfire right here, we're gonna go back to a lot. Something that we'll see in uh, quite a lot of the Souls video gaming moments is that, uh, let's see, we wanna, I'll probably use two of these, huh? Yeah! So you crush those, that puts a little, see that's why I couldn't put my camera up in the left corner. Up there, that gives us two humanity and then we can smack these into here. One to reverse our hollowing, so we're not uh, gross bacon flaps anymore. Nice, look at that, we got our, our human skin back. And then we can kindle the bonfire. So if you, if you uh, throw your Amazon Kindle into the fire, um, you get some bonuses here. Nice, oh, Gravelord thing. Oh, that's fine, it doesn't really affect you in the first playthrough anyways. That Gravelord Covenant, which we, oh shit, which we saw earlier, the way it's supposed to work is that when they, um, 
they put down their sign and it enters your world and then they also include like a bunch of harder enemies that just kind of exist from then on and to get rid of them you have to find that sign go into the grave lord's world and then give him what for give him the smackdown oh this guy's gonna come up here for sure but i think i think on your first playthrough that doesn't actually like happen because that would be that'd be real messed up if it did you just didn't know what you were dealing with, and then boom, somebody has just fucked your world over, like, forever. It'd be real bad. Oh, there's our, our firebomb friend up there. I see you. I acknowledge you. I respect you. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about it. I could. I could still spec into a dex build. The knight starts with strength and dexterity in equal measure. Could even be a quality build. We shall see. We'll see when the time comes. I can also just do whatever. If somebody's like, hey, you should play the game naked and with a club, I'll be like, yes, I agree. I will absolutely do that. If somebody wants me to, I'm down. I'm down for a little bit of challenge running. Just a little bit. Dark Souls is maybe the one game I feel like I can kind of maybe be somewhat mediocre enough at video games to do that. <laughs> All right, oh, oh, he's so close. He's so close. Oh, oh, no, 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 I didn't realize. Oh, there's more enemies down here. I forgot that guy hides behind the wood. Oh, no, now I'm just surrounded. I am absolutely surrounded. Okay, that one's dead. Hey, you need to stop that healing. Cut that shit out. All right, there's a stab. That guy's shield isn't as good as his, so I might be able to break through his block. I just don't want that action. We can get that out of here. Oh, I'm playing so careful. If we were playing, like, Dark Souls... Three, for instance, which I have played the most of most recently. Okay, or Bloodborne. I think in Bloodborne, I would... Oh, man, I'd be killing it. Because that, that's my favorite game, maybe, of all time. I just absolutely adore the setting and the world and stuff. But were that the case, I would be playing so much more aggressively. But the first Dark Souls is very... It's a lot slower, and it's more punishing when you fuck up. So we're gonna, we're gonna play it real chill, you know? Maybe later, if I get more ballsy start doing some fun spin tricks and stuff um oh here we go i wanted this oh hi i guess i'll uh, i'll carry that body with me oh see you dude <laughs> okay and now there's gonna be there he is a little pop out friend oh shit no 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 that is the problem see a lot of the weapons i was talking about move sets are ouch and the importance of move sets this weapon, this rods or whatever, is like purely horizontal attack. So when you're in narrow spaces like that, you're screwed. Um, oh, we did just pick up a longsword though, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, looks like slightly less damage, but that doesn't matter if it comes with. Yeah, longsword comes with a stat. Again, it's all about it's all about the move set you want. Damage is is not nearly as important. Oh, hey fellas. All right, see, I can lead them into a narrow passage like this, and so we can. And get stabby with it. Get jiggy with it. Uh huh, uh huh. See that? There we go. Oh, hollow warrior waist cloth. You say waist cloth, and I see. Uh, <laughs> it is so tattered that it barely serves its purpose anymore. Not at all. Look, I got a cute skirt. Actually, it kind of looks like I'm naked under there. That's. There. Now I'm actually naked under there. <laughs> is that a better look? You know what? Yeah, Sundays are for no pants. Let's go. All right, there, there's those firebomb guys who were plaguing us earlier. Oh, there's one stab. Uh, we took a little bit of damage despite blocking because the shield gives us full physical resistance, but not fire. So oh, attacks like that are going to be ouch. Um, you know, what? I think I'm going to drop down here and heal real quick. Better, safe, than sorry. And if I die right now, I'll lose my humanity. So I'll go back to having like gross flabby bacon skin. And I'm not really like, you know, that is an aesthetic. I don't, no hate if that's like your jam. But I like having my human skin. I appreciate the human skin a little bit. If I could be a robot and have robot skin, that would be groovy. You know what, let's say uh, for all intents and purposes, I am a robot under here. Oh, a word? Is that a passage you can jump onto? I... I see a note over there. Oh, sick. You can actually go over here. I've never done this. Daddy. Oh, oh, we can't go in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we got an invasion. That's, yeah, that's the one problem with being human is that other players can now proceed to invade you. And I'm sure if they're invading in this area, they're probably like a super, hmm, 
they're super twink, and I don't mean in the, the cool gay way, I mean they're probably decked out with powerful stuff. Phoebe Buffet? If you want to summon Phoebe Buffet from friends, that would be, that'd be helpful. Here. Alright. I was planning on going through the game mostly alone, but listen, if I'm gonna get invaded, I think I'll, I'll grab a friend. It's not a bad idea. No. Oh! Oh good, they left. Oh, they just dipped on out of here. In which case, I don't need to summon. Oh, never mind. She's here anyways. Alright. Well, uh, I guess we made some friends today. Hi. Hey, I, I loved your work in friends. Um, it was really good stuff. Alright, I guess. Let's go. Looks like they judging by their armor, they must have started as a sorcerer. So they might they might have some cool magic spells on their hands, which is really neat. That also means we're probably gonna be the one like holding the front line. Oh there we go. See, because we bought that residence key earlier, we can slip in here. Open that treasure chest, which has ooh gold pine resin gonna be really useful see there we go yeah she can shoot some spells from up above that's pretty groovy all right now we can divide and conquer friendship always wins friendship is the key to happiness in life oh no oh oh there we go I'll just get that backstab and then oh there's a scary crossbow archer up there I want to take out otherwise he's just gonna keep plaguing us later be gone! Oh, wow, I didn't... I put that sword right between his legs. Like, that That didn't stab him at all. But you know what? It's fine. I'll take it. I will take it. Um, now where the hell are we going? Uh, where did Phoebe Buffet go? Oh. Oh, she's going down here. This is... Yeah! There's a dark knight down here. Okay, alright. Usually you want to avoid this guy at first because he is, uh, usually way too difficult for any beginners to take down. However, if you have two and you can kind of keep backstabbing him, you're you're kind of golden. It's kind of hard to fuck this up, which is so unfortunate because we're just we're just playing like uh, we're just playing monkey with in the middle with this poor black knight who like I mean just look at his armor, look at his weaponry. He's got a huge history of being a badass behind him, and we're just kind of <laughs> uh, sad. This that's one of the big problems with Dark Souls One is that just you can just chain backstabs basically forever. Oh, okay, we got a tight knight chunk. Solid. We can use that to improve our gear later. I'm actually really glad we didn't get the Black Knight sword because there are many times where I'm making a character and I'm like, "Ooh, I'm going to I'm going to try out some new funky build this time." But then I loot the sword and that sword is so good. Like the amount of damage it does. Um its strong attack sucks. The, the right trigger move is really bad. Oh, that's right. That doesn't roll down here. Yeah, they got a little trap up there if you didn't know about that. Oh, there's... Oh, but I could drop down there and get something. It's okay. I guess I won't do that this time. Um, oh, down there I could also go fight Havel the Rock, and he drops a really good ring. But I guess... Yeah, I don't need that today. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. I think one of the rare instances where there's actually something in the barrels is up here. There's gonna be a little little tight night lizard that pops out. There he is. There he is. A little, there's a little bugger. Get him. These guys, they they disappear if you can't kill them fast enough. Oh no 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 no. No. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. Yeah, and they, they give you more of those upgrade pieces, which is really important. Alright, stairs up above is broken, and then here we go. It's gonna be big boss fight time. Stop the music. And okay. Alright. Keep progressing up ahead there's gonna be a big spooky boy but i want to go up here first because there's an archer who's gonna plague us i'm liking our no pants look honestly i like that the our like our chest piece armor like goes just down enough where it kind of looks like we're just wearing a big old armored dress it's just a cute skirt oh ouch that hurt that hurt a lot maybe we should be wearing our pants because we could get a little more protection from that if we were wearing them all right there we go luckily that guy doesn't have a shield I'll pop one of these Estes flasks, and then down here, oh, here come the horrors, our first boss. I mean, technically, it's not the first boss, because we killed the Asylum Demon all on our own. But this is the first boss you can, like, that's out in the real world and isn't the tutorial zone. There he is! Yeah, the Taurus Demon. Now, there are a couple ways to, like, supremely cheat this battle. I think, I'm not exactly... 
interested in doing one of those. You know, if it if it happens, then it happens. Um, sometimes he'll do that like jump back thing, and there's there's a hole in the wall right over here. Yeah, you can see it. It's like just big enough where he'll just fall right through, and then you win instantly because he's killed himself. Which is amazing detail, honestly. That like you can win the boss fight that way. If he, you know, if he's dumb enough to jump off, then legit, you won. You tricked him. And they don't, like, they don't deprive you of that victory. They don't make your victory, like, feel like you're cheating. Okay, I mean, it kind of feels like you're cheating no matter what, but... There's the jump! Oh, I, I only partially rolled through that one. See, if we're here, maybe he'll do it. Maybe he'll back up. Ouch. Maybe he'll do it. Did you, you want to jump off? Ah, uh, that wasn't good. I was blocking those, so we uh, avoided the damage. We just got knocked pretty really good. Come on, come on, do it, do it! Jump off the thing! No, it's fine. You know we've got him more than half health down, so we might be able to just fight him normally. Especially if she keeps blasting those spells like that. Ouch! Ow! Ooh, ooh, that hurts. Okay, pop the heal. There we go. Oh, oh, he got staggered a little bit. Woo, okay, good jumps, good jumps, that ought to do it. Yeah, there we go. All right, sweet. Oh, shit, we got the demon's great axe. Fucking word? I did not expect that. Oh, and there goes our friend. Phoebe's gone. Just gotta go film another episode of Friends. That's fine. Ah. Uh. Oh man, ooh, what a good view. What a view. I mean, it kind of is just like a hazy piece of garbage because, you know, it's, it's Dark Souls. But, ah, the sun. We'll get some reverence for the sun real quick. We're going to find best boy. Best boy in the whole dang game is coming up real soon. All right, play, play that funky music again. There we go. All right, yeah, nothing in those barrels that we need. I'm glad we got a little friendship. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, there's goods back here. Large soul of a lost undead. Ah, uh, yeah, see, that's pretty groovy. Because, like, in case you missed that, I think the, mes the message system is pretty darn cool. Because your first time through, you might not have known that. And so you can just, hey, read the message. Hey, there's some good stuff in there. Okay, that's locked. Oh, there's the, the spooky bridge. But more importantly, before we go anywhere over there, we've got... Ah, the best boy. The best boy in the whole damn game. It's Solaire. It's true, I got my human skin on. Solaire of Astora. Yeah. <laughs> See, not even our best boy is safe from the Dark Souls-ism that is freaky laughing. Yeah, hit me up, bro. What is your decision? Of course it's yes. Yes! Friendship always wins! Well, then. Oh, it pleases me greatly too. Yeah, the white sign soapstone. Yep, that's how they explain it. Jolly cooperation. Ah, yes. <laughs> See, there it is again. Had to do it to him. Hello there. Hello there. God, I love that line. I love that line. Wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. 
That's good. You know, the Dark Souls Riders, they know a thing or two. Alright, I'm keeping my shield up on this bridge because things are going to get spooky real quick. There it is. There's our, our, our big knockoff dragon boy. I need to dip down here real quick, though. Alright, pop the heal. Thank you. Yeah, so now if, if you even dare approach on this bridge, he's going to... Oh? Wait, is he gonna let me just run up? No, 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 there's the fire. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 let me get behind. Ouch. Ouchie. Okay, let's heal again. I know, it, it's such a tempting trap, because you want to get back there, because you can, you can see a bonfire, and those bodies have treasure on them, but stepping out on that bridge, he's just gonna breathe fire again, and there's... For the moment, I don't think there's any way to survive that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. There must be, right? But for the moment, we'll, we'll find another way around there, and we'll get those goods. You know, one of the biggest stats, of course, is to just uh, pump more points into health, and then once you're big and strong, you can just, like... Oh, okay, we can't kindle this any further without the secret right. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just hang on to that humanity, which is kind of scary, because we will lose those when we die. Um, what do we want to do here? I'm almost... I know I picked Knight at the start, but I'm almost thinking of branching out into other things. I also did put some points into Faith, too. Though I think 12 and 12 right there isn't... That isn't necessarily going to lock us into anything just yet. Ooh, Vitality up to 18 is really tempting, too. But I think... Well, yeah, we'll spread our points a little bit more evenly. We'll get some Endurance up, too. I definitely want to spend these boss souls before we, you know, die and lose all of that. But there we go. We got a little bit more health. Um, a little bit more stamina. I think we can carry a little bit more, too. So all in all, we're improved. It's it's good. I'm feeling good about this. All right, let's let's continue our journey. We got another we got another way worse boss to fight pretty soon after. Okay, uh, there he is. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. My very first playthrough. This guy is. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I forgot about this one over here too. Good. More surprises. I wouldn't want things to get predictable. Yeah, there it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Luckily, we have our stab move with this sword. Uh, you know what? I got got something real good for you. See ya. There we go. And just like that, he's gone. But this, this tiny little ramp, perfectly placed. And there's a shield guy with a spear, so he's super defensive and good at keeping you at range. And then if you don't have a weapon that, like, stabs in a straight line, you're... Your swings are always going to hit the side of that ramp there. It's it's the perfect trap. It's very insidious. Oh, oh ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Uh, so when that bar pops up, every time they hit you, it starts to build like poison is the thing that those rats have. And you get hit enough, you're poisoned. And there's, I don't think we have any items to stop. Yeah, we don't have any mosses to stop poison at the moment. So if that were to happen, we would uh, just be screwed. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. That the Estus flask itself, I don't think got an HD texture. That looked a little not great, not pleasing to the eye. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. What's going on? How's it hanging? Oh no, he's angry now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, cool. We were still getting up, so that doesn't count. <gasps> I don't think I meant to anger this guy. Uh, I meant to just look at him because he's cool. Yeah, this could get real dicey, and I could very easily die and lose my humanity. Oh, no. Oh, I've been spotted by somebody else. Hello there. Ah, great. Again, sometimes camera and tracking can be your worst enemy. I meant to roll around him, but instead, nope. Let's just roll straight into him. Great. Great positioning. Okay, good. Um, is the Black Knight still following me, or did he go back up? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of a kind of getting I'm getting a little greedy I do want to kill him but it's gonna take me forever if I try to do it on my own there he is though okay it's fine I I will leave him there he can just chill out totally okay don't need to fight him right now okay right, let's keep heading up <laughs> these rats drive me bonkers it's true it's true uh, we ain't even done with the rats we got blight town coming up but hey, welcome to the castle. He's coming. I really, I really hope that guy doesn't follow me down here. I've had it happen before where I accidentally aggro him and then he just, he is just on the warpath to find me. 
He'll, he'll sneak up on you when you don't expect it. Oh, ouch. Oh, being, uh, speak of being snuck up on. Boy, let me pop over here and heal real quick. Don't mind me. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's the last thing I... Ooh, that's the last thing I wanted. Oh, now I'm trapped in the corner. Oh, God, I'm trapped. Oh, let me out. Oh, God. This is... I've made some mistakes in my life. Oh, God. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, no, I roll so slow. Okay, get up here. Get up here. No boar, please. Please, no boar. No boar and no more. All right. Yep. Oh, I forgot. I didn't think he would see me from that far away. Ouch. Yeah, speak of... Ooh, speak of being snuck up. All right, fine. You know what? You'll heal, I'll heal too. We're even now. Ouch. All right. I wasn't expecting the second staff. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, we got another... Another one of those waste cloths. Is that... Oh, no. One's hollow warrior. That one's hollow soldier. It weighs 0.1 pound more. All right. Okay, boar. I see you. I see you. We can be friends, though. I know you got big red scary eyes, but... Yeah, we can be friends. <laughs> Yo, put some pants on, lordy. I, you know, I was wearing some pants earlier, but I've, executive decision, I decided we look cute as hell with no pants. No, it's fine. I think one of these is not gonna ruin our, our carry weight. No, now you, that doesn't even, yeah, you can't even tell we're wearing pants with that. All right, do we still, no, that's the problem. Wearing too much stuff causes us to do the, the big boy roll, and I want the regular roll. Is that boar still down here? Cause there's a there's a way to uh uh uh. All right, all right. I see you. I acknowledge you. I respect you. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I didn't expect that to still be like attack worthy. There's definitely a way to lure that boar onto that like burning fire pit right there, and he'll just kill himself. I don't. As much as I want to accomplish that, I don't know if we can. Oh, another castle. Thank you for the follow. And thanks for tuning in. How are you today? I just had a real long day at work, and now I go uh, from one stressful situation to another. But it's okay. I, I choose I choose the Dark Souls life. I love suffering. Ouch. Okay. All right. There we go. No, that wasn't enough. He has just a little sliver of health. He's going to go for it. Oh, he was going for a third swing there. Okay, that was just one stab. It's hard to tell, you know, because... Well, part of the game definitely is, like, predicting what their movements will be, but sometimes they'll mix it up. Alright, alright. Yep, he's gonna fall. Okay, I kind of wish I could have just... It would have been better to just finish him up here, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, the hot pants. Uh, oh, hey, Greg. Uh, did you get trapped in a corner by any boars at work? <laughs> I got trapped in a corner by boring people at work. That's basically the same thing. No, I just, I just hecked up. I work at the, work at the movie theater and accidentally, uh, somebody came in with like some fake free tickets, which is real wacky. They came in and they had like these, oh, these tickets and they were like, hey, we got, you know, we got these free tickets. And I was like, okay, these, these look real enough. And then on, on closer inspection, they totally faked them. And that got me, oh, in trouble with the managers, of course. Oh, man. You can't actually get a backstab on this guy? That's too bad. In Bloodborne, they have big, big piggy enemies like this, and you can get a backstab, and you can just shove your hand right up their butt. Oh, 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 see? Oh, it's working? It's working. If I can just keep getting him to run through the fire, he'll die. And he'll drop a really good helmet. There's a good chance of him dropping this, like, silver boar helmet, which is a really good one to have. I mean, if we don't get it now, it's fine, because there'll be more of these guys later that aren't so scary. God, I forgot. I forgot how at the... Oh, oh. Did he get himself stuck? Is he stuck? Can I, can I give him a little poke? Whew. I forgot, though. The beginning of Dark Souls is ruthless. They're, like, constantly shoving, like, enemies that are way too hard for you to kill. And I get it, you know, that's that's part of like that's part of the messaging to be like, oh, you know, they're they're too tough, so you should uh come back at a different day when you're stronger. Wowzers. Oh, oh, he did it. He's running into the fire again. You can see his health bars going down. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah! Oh wait, I could have done that this whole time. Oh shit. That was a tiny little drop too. Okay, you can do a drop attack on oh, he didn't drop the helmet. That's unfortunate. But okay. I mean, at least we got him out of here, which means he's not going to follow us later. Oh, oh yeah, we, we looted an alluring skull earlier. 
That's true. I could I could have done that. I could have lured him away. I always forget about these items. In every Souls game, I almost never use those, and they're very useful. Yeah, good shit. We got the boar. There's still that Black Knight up there, but hey, you know, you gotta uh, little victories, little victories. Just just pick your victories where you can get them. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I should be able to get. No, no, no. Ouch! I did not have enough stamina to blast. There we go. There we go. I'm actually running a little, getting a little low on Estes. This is a lot harder than I remember. As someone who's supposedly a Souls veteran, I'm, mm, I'm struggling. Ouch. Yeah, I might, I might go ahead and heal again. I really don't want to lose that humanity. Because if I find another bonfire, I could just kindle it, and that would be a way better use. Okay, there we go. Ouch, ouch. All right. Man, forgot how jumpy these guys are. Okay, please tell me. Please tell me there's no more. Sometimes they hide behind the barrels and they pop out at you. Okay. Oh, nope. I, I see those glowing red eyes over there. I see you. I see you. Don't, don't act like I don't see you, because I see you. There we go. There we go. There's a good stab. Get a little swingy ding in there. Yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, we can't break that. Okay, we can break that, though. Again, take your small victories. Oh, good. That mystery key we're going to need later. We're collecting on keys. Got that Got that master key. Got the home residence key. We're loaded. Uh, all right. Oh, there's one. Let me get out of the way there. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Ouch. No. Nope. The sword is not... For being long sword, it really isn't that long. It's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, I wasn't going to... I can't forget about you. Beautiful little pile of treasure over here. Hello. What have we here? Yeah, it's more souls. Can't go wrong with more souls. Oh shit. Ouch. Okay, that you know, that actually wasn't as much damage as I thought I would take, but still. That was mm, unnecessary damage. I'm glad I didn't need that alluring skull though, so I should remember that I have them and probably try and save them for some more useful things. I think that would be uh that'd be smart. Oh, is there anyone up on this? Okay, nobody's up on this floor. We're safe. We're good. Oh, yes. Traverse the white light. I forgot that it's... They actually just call it white light in this game. They don't call it the fog door as they call it in other ones. That's just what everyone else calls it, though. Um, oh, that's right. There's a Balder Knight over here. Oh, it's all coming back to me. So many good and horrible memories of my beloved Dark Souls. All right, can I get... Can I get the... Yeah, there we go. There's the backstab. Not that I really need to ask, can I get them backstab? Dark Souls 1 is so forgiving with backstabs. Oh, see, oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at look at this knight boy. It was, ooh, with his uh, perfectly pokey sword. He's got a shield for parrying. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Speaking of parry, I I just tried to parry and I did not have enough stamina for that. Can I can I get behind him and get a cheesy backstab? Uh, you know what? I'll I'll settle with just smacking him. That works too. Uh. No! My stab missed! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! 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 Touché! Oh! Touché! Nice heal! Ouch! Oh, he's so fast! Oh, I might die to him. But I got the night shield. That's important. As long as I got that. Uh, come on! Come on! Get closer! I gotta get that. I, I want that cheesy back. Oh no! He's in his in his parry mode. Alright, go on, drop it. I said oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, very bad time to kick. <laughs> I said drop it. Nope. He dropped it right into my flesh. You know, I'm glad I got that roll, but in the end, as Linkin Park said, in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh, God, we were getting so close to getting over there to find Andre of Astora. Uh, not today. All right, it's fine. We'll head right back over there. It's not that bad. Now I, and now that I remember, is that guy who's gonna pop out? We got our shield guy over there. Okay, okay, all right, okay. I see you, I see you. I might, hmm. I like that the longsword includes a stab, but I might, I don't know, I might wanna switch weapons. Oh, hang on, one more kick, there we go. Those are some well-placed kicks. Not exactly last time, but this time. Ah, yes. Where are you, poison? Here come the rats. Please, no poison. Please, no poison. Please, no poison. All right, there should be one more in here. There he is. Hi, Binch. Come on, come on. There we go. Ah. All right, 
Alright, let's head back up here. I forgot too, just how how weak you start at the beginning of Dark Souls. Which is also great, because that means by the time you get to the end, you get to like, you know, you get to witness all that progress. It's really cool. And something I love about Dark Souls as well is, they do this in like every game. They have one of the early bosses becomes just like a generic enemy towards the end of the game. And so we'll see that Taurus demon again. But they do that. They do that, and it helps show you, like, damn, look at all the cool progress we've made. Oh, hello. Ouch. <laughs> that was a really bad roll. It's fine. I got the backstab, though. So you know what? It was worth in the end. I meant to miss that. Not. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, speaking of, mm-hmm. There's always, always more enemies to sneak up behind you when you least expect it. Cool. Okay. Uh, ah, ha-ha. Ooh. Got that roll. There's one stab for you. Oh, I forgot that the spear guys can do a big ol' swing like that. Okay, my stab is not gonna outrange him under any means. So it's probably not even uh, worth it. Yep, yep. Back up, back up. Back up. Okay, alright. Come on, put your shields down. There we go. There's one. Now that we're, yeah, now that we're down to just one guy, we can go ahead and do that. Nice. Okay, probably wanna, yeah, I wanna take out those archers up there. They're gonna give us more grief later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there anyone else up here? Or is it just, oh yeah, that's right. Another spear guy. And of course, those guys are super slow, which means, yep, uh, archers can shoot at you the entire time. What? Did I ever get any firebombs? Do I have any of those yet? I do. I have two regular and then five black firebombs. I could use those, but I kinda wanna save those for next time I encounter a boss or like I really need them. Or if I get invaded, which uh, could happen again. Could definitely happen. People love to PvP in this little beginner area. Okay, dodge that. Alright. Hey guys, yes, I acknowledge you. Your crossbows are super cool. Alright, is he gonna fall? Is he gonna fall? Oh, he was so close to falling. Huh, okay. Oh, ooh, I barely had any stamina for that. That was close. Hey, 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 who said you could heal? Cut that out. Alright, just one more. There we go. Oh, I saw a guy down there. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came to meet me. Hey, dude. What's up, gamers? Y'all like backstabs? Ooh. I just noticed that that blood spray in HD looks pretty good, too. Because I've, I've heard before getting this that the, the Dark Souls remaster was like a little bit on the mediocre side. And while I agree it doesn't look like hugely different, I'm sure you could achieve this look with like just modding the first game. I think still worth buying because I want to support uh, I want to support the Dark Souls creators always otherwise we ain't gonna get any more Souls games which could still happen anyways I think they said uh, I think they said they're done with the Dark Souls series but games like it like that Sekiro game that was announced at E3 like, give them ouch oh I still got hit by that need cash money to make games oh no, 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 that was a bad, bad time to stab. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're still living. Let's heal up, we probably have to do another heal real soon. Is that an also? Yeah, collecting broken straight swords. Another one added to my collection. Alright, yes, jump down. Hello? I, oh no, no, please not three of them. Anything but that. Oh, oh gosh, the way they, they just swing at you wild. Okay, all right. There's, no, 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 no. Yep, that was a bad time to, bad time to do a swing. It's only stab. This is stab city. Okay. You know what? Uh, yeah, uppercut swings are okay. Those are the only ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that new one too. I'm super. I have so many questions about it. There's so much we like don't know yet. Oh, oh my, am I too much of a fatty to get through there? Oh no, I made it. I made it. My armor doesn't stop me. Okay. I am. I'm so curious about the new one. Like, I don't know. Talk about like, uh, hor like horizontal and vertical movement. Like that grappling hook system. How in the world does that work? So many questions. I'm so excited about it. Thematically, it also looks really cool. But it's also weird that we got like three samurai games at E3. Getting Neo 2 and whatever ghosts of... Ghosts of... Tsushima or something like that. That's that's a lot of souls like samurai games to all come out at once. Oh man, I might have made a mistake by dying over there. But I have way more Estus flasks this time. Thanks to that boar being gone. 
Backstab, backstab. No. Nope. Oh, I didn't get it. Uh, abort, abort. Okay, okay. All right. I'm here for the rematch, though. I want, I want to win this. I can do it. Put me in the ring. Just let, let me at him. Okay, I need to grab. I need to recover my souls and stuff first. There we go. I got my one, one little humanity back. Unfortunately, I am, I am flabby bacon skin right now, but I should be able to use that real soon. Eventually, become a human again. Come on, open up. Open up for mommy. Oh, oh I, I meant to go for a kick. Oh, that wasn't good. It's fine, it's fine. It wasn't that punishing. Gosh, we do, oh, so little damage to him. Could be worse. I mean, he's not like Black Knight levels of no damage to him, but wow. Only 18. No, no, no. Put that down. I didn't say you could drink. There's a no drinking zone. Oh, he didn't even drop anything. He didn't drop anything. Yeah, is it a PS4 thing? I can't remember. Yeah, I think I think so. Ghost of Tsushima, I think, is going to be a PS4 exclusive. But then, um, I think I think Sekiro and Neo 2 are actually coming to all consoles, which is awesome. Because I'm really, like, uh such a bummer that Bloodborne is a PS4 exclusive. I, I went and I went and bought a PS4 like exclusively for Bloodborne, and I don't really have any other. I have very little other PS4 games. I literally bought it just for that. It sucks. Console exclusives are hmm, they not my favorite. Oh, 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 okay, okay, all right. We are not getting chapped in the corner again. That's not happening. Not again. Learn my lesson. I'd like to believe. Alright, okay, alright. Uh, I acknowledge that he's way cooler than me, and probably stronger, he's got a cool cape. Actually, a stack at 41 damage. Oh, okay, okay, you know what, he's actually not as strong as I remember. Yeah, there we go, just had to play it cool, play it cool, hotshot. Be like Fonzie, what was Fonzie? He was cool. Just a stab right in the abs, good, 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 good. Oh, we got another liquid humanity, too. Yeah, <laughs> demon souls, too, I wish. I never had a PS3, so I never got to play the first Demon Souls. Okay, I mean, I played a little bit of it at a friend's house, but a really... Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, he saw me. Oh, he's coming. There he is. Hey, fella. What's up, my guy? Cool cape. Y'all mind if I put a hole right through it? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I thought I, I thought I had that timed well enough. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, okay, stamina's his back. Stamina's his back. We're chilling. There we go. Made your last mistake. Except it's not his last mistake, because he'll he'll revive at some point and he'll be back. Hello? Come on. Lay down the guard. Yeah, oh that's true. The Last of Us 2 looks good. It does. That cinematic that they showed, like, oh my god. You can see like the pores on their skin and stuff. Oh, oh, it's that's that's some real goodness right there. That's wild. That is Triple A gaming at its finest. I never did play uh, the first Last of Us though. I mean, again, that was another game where I was like, my friend had a lot more PS4 games, and I came over to his house and like played it a little bit. That's another one of those games which I didn't get to experience the whole way through. Which I want to. I think I'll end up streaming that at some point, probably before the second one comes out, so I can play that too. That would be great. And we know, uh, what is her name? Ellie. Don't know a whole lot about her, but we know she's canon gay, which rules. That's awesome. Ah, okay, okay, all right, all right. Don't mind if I, nope, nope, put that down. I didn't say you could drink. Ooh, okay, thank you, thank you, invincibility frames. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the attack, bait him out. Then there's gonna be one more. Yeah, there he is. One more archer over here. Please die, I'm begging you. I'm asking you nicely. There we go. Hey, he did what I said. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I should. I should absolutely give it a go sometime. I really want to. Alright, so... Where you're supposed to go is, like, up there, because that's where the next boss is and the bells of awakening and all that stuff. But, first, very important, I need to find our, our other best boy. Actually, there's quite a few best boys in this game. I mean, Solaire is, like, top tier. Absolutely top tier waifu right there, but... Andre of Astora down here. It's great because you could, ah oh man, before you even get here, you can hear that sound. Okay, cool. And now that we're at a bonfire, I can go ahead and restore my humanity, get rid of the flabby bacon skin, and then I'll go ahead and kindle this one too, because this one's going to be important later, because eventually we're going to go down that way to set some fortress. 
And that one's gonna be, we're definitely gonna die there. It's like kind of impossible not to. All right, there he is. Where's our boy? There's our boy. He's pounding away like a good blacksmith. Well, you must be a new That's us, My the new arrival. Story. Yeah, Andre puts in work, right? I mean, look, look at those arms. Boy, swole. He is putting in some real work, mad games. And he's got the hurrah gesture for us. Thank you. Um, oh, that's right. The repair system works different here than every other game. You gotta occasionally repair your gear from time to time. It's not just... In the later games, it's just use it until it's broken. And then once it's broken, it's got, it has to be repaired. Don't have any special embers yet. Is there anything I want to purchase here? That's right. Eventually, we want that crest of Artorias. That is really good. Oh, I want... I want those eventually as well, because that lets you repair all your goods at bonfires. He's, you know, he's got some other tasty weapons over here. I like I like what he's putting out. He's got arrows if you're going for like an archer build, which seems really, really Most difficult. That's true of that's true of everything. Strong metaphor. If you give me one for free, that'd be awesome. It's true. See, he, he speaks some real good wisdom. And he's just, he's just a sweet dude. He's such a good dude. It's great, because, God, the world of Dark Souls is, is very much... Friends are very few and far between, but you can always count on Andre to be the absolute homie. Andre of Astora is just, he is top tier, best dude. He's actually helpful. He rules. I don't, I will not accept any uh, Andre of Astora bad mouthing in this chat. Oh, that's right. Oh man, what are the stat requirements for this thing? Uh, oh, 46 strength. <laughs> so we won't be using that for a good while. Kinda wanna use that halberd though. Oh, we don't have enough strength for the halberd either. I could two hand it. Two-hand things, you get a little bit of a strength bonus. Uh, 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 come on, do the stab. There it is. And then I'll, uh, I'll raise you one of mine. Oh, speaking of stabs, can I get backstab? Eh, come on, give it. Yeah, there it is. Not that I want to play the fishing for backstab games this entire Dark Souls run, because you can absolutely do that. Dark Souls is. Oh, they give away those backstabs like free candy. There we go. One more swig a ding and that'll do it. As opposed to Dark Souls 3, which gives away rolls like candy. They cost like absolutely no stamina. Oh, hello, hello big guys. Hang on a sec, hang on. I got something really important to do. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, oh, that's right. We need that other elevator to take a little, a little shortcut later on. Uh, this is true of every Dark Souls game. If you have an elevator that's like open at some point, that is not your final destination, you, you're you almost like guaranteed there's gonna be some treasure outside if you jump out or there's gonna be like a secret area or something. They do that all the time. Oh, that's right. We finally have enough to get a heal miracle. Sweet. So now when we run out of Estus, we got a little bit of, a little bit of extra healing there. <laughs> Andre 2020, yes. All right, I, yeah. That's, that's the true stuff right there. Everybody go out there and vote for Andre 2020. Oh, you know what? Oh, I did not mean to go back to Firelink. Always a good place to be, but I did not mean to go here. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna change the bonfire we last rested at to that one. I'd rather have the one that's over by Andre. And then take me back up here, please. Go on, there we go. Um, uh, let's see, can I... Yeah, I wanna put the talisman right here. Oh, oh, I forgot to attune the spells. I forgot that you have to do that. Shoot. You have to do that in all the Dark Souls games. I don't know why I forgot. Okay, all right. Next time I'm, I'm yeah, next time I'm at a bonfire, I'll go ahead and attune that spell there. Oh, I also want... I want what's behind our big night boy over there, but ooh, he is scary. He is very scary. Okay, all right. All right, yep, 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 there we go. Yeah, the Firekeeper's soul is really, whoo, it's really important. Oh, and there's that, right, there's a channeler up there, and uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a fog wall on all of those. I'm being invaded. Oh, no, oh, Dark Spirit. Oh, and I'm surrounded. 
Oh my god, there are so many tight corridors that you just can't get out of. Huh, please, please, please let me go. No, I'm, yeah, I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Oh god. <sighs> Woo! Hooey, I'll tell you what. Hey, at least, you know what? At least I didn't die to the invader. <laughs> Shit. Alright, you know what? That's fine, because that'll let me attune the healing spell I forgot to do. There. There we go. <laughs> uh, welcome to Dark Souls, everybody. That's how it be. It do be like that sometimes. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> this is some gnarly lucky dude. True. Yeah, whoever just invaded me and got like a free win off of me dying to the world, you're welcome. I did that on purpose for you. <laughs> Oh, oh, yikes. Hooey. I'll tell you what. Shoot, dang. Alright, there's one. And do the stab so I can get the... Nope. Yeah, I'll get my own stab in there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh gotta lose at Rocket League. Take it easy. Aw, oh, thanks. thanks for hanging out. And thanks for the follow. God, I love Rocket League. That is an excellent game. I am... Ooh, 100% down to lose at that game anytime. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up to get down. There we go. There we go. Uh, so how does it feel to be that guy's only win ever? <laughs> Not great. No, no. Oh, it's just... I know if I just leave him, he's going to follow me up there. But I do no damage to this guy. Okay, actually, I do a little bit of damage. It'll add up. I'll just pretend he's a mini boss. I don't think this guy respawns, actually. So that's... That's not entirely off the money. Uh, feels bad. I just gave that guy a free win. I didn't even see him. I didn't even get the chance to look at him and see what like gear he was using. He could have been some kind of like filthy giant dad build and I just let him kill me. No! No, no, no. Put that down. No healing. Forgot how many enemies heal in this one. The later Dark Souls, they don't do that as much. Or if they heal, it's through like... I don't know, it's through something else, like they attack you, or like they got a special move where they eat your brains out, or whatever. I could get the sneak on these guys. I could oh, oh, no, ouch, never mind, never mind, forget it. I forgot the channeler, he shoots spells and summons ads. He is, he is double whammy of bad shit. Okay. Oh, oh, it's another one of these fencer guys. Oh, 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 none of us can stab each other. Thanks, height difference. Appreciate it. Alright, put the shield down. Oh, oh, one kick doesn't do it for this guy. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. No, no sweat, no sweat. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, there he is, there he is. Come on. This is much better. I'd rather fight him out in the open anyways. Alright, can I get? Can I get? No backstabs. Oh, come on. Thanks, Miyazaki. Daddy Dark Souls, I'm begging you. Just give me one of these backstabs. Hmm. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes Dark Souls backstabs are like incredibly forgiving and you can like straight up stab someone in the front and they'll just go Not, not this time Okay, okay, I, I see your cool stance. I see you stancing up. I respect that. All right, put it down. There we go Ouch, 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 ouch uh, Oh, bad time to heal. Oh, uh, it wasn't worth it. Actually, actually, I got a little bit of gain from that I got some of those gains working on them fresh gains all right, yes, yes, put your shield down. I'm just gonna play it real safe. We'll just do a little bit of trading. We'll just do a little bit. Yeah, is this the PC version? Yeah, 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 this, this is the PC version. I bought it on Steam. Okay. I mean, it would have been uh, it would have been cool to have the Switch version with the, the little Solaire amiibo, but I've never bought an, an amiibo yet, and I feel like if I buy one, it's just gonna be a slippery slope where I just I decide I need 20 of them scary it's a scary slippery slope and also as cool as the Solaire amiibo is obviously like you want I don't know the amiibos are cool but it just uh, it sucks that there's a lot of amiibos that amiibos out there that only do one thing for one game when like I don't know some of the ones that are like characters in Smash Bros they give you like the amiibo fighter and then like they also give you costumes in other games I feel like that makes it more worthwhile I don't Unfortunately, I don't foresee Solaire being added to Smash Bros, and therefore doesn't feel as worth it. Hey, Arcade Aaron, welcome back. Magic Man is up there. Yep, 
Our channeler boy, we gotta go get him. <laughs> Why do you do such little damage? I know, I know, I really need to work on that damage. I feel like the longsword should be a good weapon, but it just does not deliver in the ways I thought it would. We'll try the rapier for now. Um, yeah, we have the stats for this. Oh, there he is, he's doing his little dance. And here come the bad boys. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's actually gonna be really helpful to have a thrusting sword at this point, because they're all gonna funnel in here. Do some nonsense. Hey guys! Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Oh my god. Magic Man also shoots spells and buffs allies and stabs. Dude's extreme. Extreme bad boy. Come on. Come on. Bring your little goon up here. Oh no. Oh no. We're going down. We're going downstairs. Okay. Okay. You know what? Actually, I, I might pop another heal just to be safe. Come on. Come on. Alright. I see you. I see you. Woo! Okay, we partially blocked the spell. Ouch. Luckily, with our thrusting weapons, we can we can poke while blocking, which is like, oh my god, it's such a godsend. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, there's more boys. Oh, there's more of his little goblin boys. Please. Please let me go. Let me go. Let me heal. I need this. <sighs> okay. All right. Safe for now. God, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. Uh, okay, our strong attack is also a thrust. It's just a longer one. I was wondering if it, A, 69 damage. I was wondering if it was like, because uh, there's some there's some thrusting swords and there's some spears that have like horizontal sweeps too. That's like, that is one of the best movesets. You get the best of both worlds there. Uh, but you almost never go wrong with stabs. As long as you can like funnel people and play it real cool, cool and icy, you'll be okay. And you can attack while blocking, which is just, oh, so good. Combine that with a spear and with all that range. I think, honestly, spears are one of my favorite favorite weapons in like all things, but especially in Dark Souls. They're just infinitely useful. Also, too, I was playing... There's this... Uh, I guess it's an illegal mod, because you can get banned for using it, but in Dark Souls 3, there's a, there's a first-person mod that moves your camera to be in the first person. And I've, I've found that, like... Spears and longer weapons are better because otherwise it is just too close for comfort because it isn't actually first person They just like put the camera in your body and then they make your body like transparent Come on. Come on. Stop dancing There go get down enough of you I've had enough All right, good. I don't remember if that guy respawns or not I really hope he doesn't because that is that is some annoying stuff Cause There's so many of those little hollows and then he buffs all of them Wacky, wacky. Yeah, you need to get some lighter armor. The fat roll kills me. I know. We're not even doing the fattest of fat rolls. If I slap everything on, we got the boom. We got that big booty bounce where we throw our shoulder into it. I do those so we get the like at least a little bit better roll. But honestly, earlier I was playing without armor so I could just do that. And honestly, it might be worth it, especially the upcoming boss. I think most definitely with the gargoyles up there, I'm gonna need it. But where is? We've got, we got a special boy we need to find. We got our little golden boy. Not to be confused with the really good anime golden boy. We've got Lutrek. Where is he? Where's Lutrek? Okay, no. Up here is the boss. We don't want to go up there. But we want to... There's a guy in a cage we need to rescue. Despite, despite all his rage, he's still just Lutrek in a cage. Okay, it must be this way. Alright, alright. You and me. I don't even need armor for this. Let's go. It's fighting time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you ain't the one. You ain't the only one with the pokey sword now. He does have a cool cape though, which uh, gives him a statistical advantage against me. He certainly has a fashion advantage, which is really important. I need to run. I need to heal so bad. Okay. 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 There we go. Pop. Pop. Yes, this. There we go. Uh, oh, hel hello, hello, big spellcaster boy. I didn't need your body right there, but thank you. It all works out in the end. And there we go. One more poke right in the junk. Good. There we go. That should be like the last enemy up here. Yeah, that's right. The Chancellor does not respond. That's right. That's right. God, thank goodness. I do not want to fight him again. I mean, I know I will fight more of them later, but oof. right now, in this chapel, I'm good. Feeling real good about it. Imminent happiness. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah, that's right. Gold boy was on the other side of the hallway. Down here somewhere. Is there, is there some treasure over here? Oh no, there's this guy. It's 
a little... Yeah, there's a guy in here. Oh, there he goes. Plop. Did he have... Yeah, there we go. I thought so. He has an item. It's a humanity. It's good. We're gonna want more of those. And then... Oh, yeah, we can't... That's not a door for us at the moment. But if we go right... Or... Oh, no. That just is never a door. That's just for looks. Okay. Alright, Dark Souls. I see you. There's Golden Boy. <laughs> Rich ahead. You know, honestly, a little bit. A little bit. I'll rate that up. Still human. Still human, are you? Are you sure? Are, are we seeing the same thing here? I'm, I'm a flabby piece of burnt bacon. Yep, there he is. He's, he's our little stuck boy. Luckily, I have the mystery key, which opens this cage. Sin sincerely. That's what he says. Yeah, don't forget the gold pine resin melts the boss's health. Yes, I've, I've been saving... I've been saving all of my resins for the uh, the gargoyle fight up here, because I'm going to need it. Hey, Mr. Henry, welcome back. Uh, did you kill that robot man yet? <laughs> robot man. There's quite a few enemies who look like robots. I mean, from the right angle, the Trek here also looks like a robot. Oh, look at him. Let's see, he's got he's got that signature Dark Souls evil laugh, too. <laughs> all right. Then you could actually kill him right then and there, and that that like stops this whole quest line from happening, which is not always a bad idea. Um, I think this time though, we'll, we'll let him live. It's fine. Um, I do want to go and heal though, because I'm getting real. I'm getting low on juice. I need more Sunny D. I'm low on all that Estus, and I'm gonna need more Estus for this fight up ahead. Might also help to grab an ally, but I don't know if I want to use my humanity because what if, you know. What if I become human and then I get invaded again uh, <laughs> from Mother 3? <laughs> uh, we killed, unfortunately killed many robots in there. <sighs> so many cute robots we had to kill. But yeah, the, the one from here, from Dark Souls. Are you talking about the Chandler up on the roof? He kind of looks like a robo dude. Uh, we, yeah, we gave him the what for. I'm glad we were able to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I do want... Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with more health. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Feel safe. Oh, we got 76 souls left. Fallout 76 confirmed. Clear, Clearly a reference. Or Soldier 76, either one. Or just a number by circumstance. But no, 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 no. It's definitely a reference. Wait, actually, how much gear can I have on and still do the, the fast roll? There we go! Yeah! We're making a strong fashion statement. This is Fashion Souls, everybody. Got a helmet, got my gloves. This is all we need. There we go. We can still get our fast roll and have like a little bit of defense. That's good. I'd love to pick up, I kind of wish I did the Sorcerer's start because then we, or like the Pyromancer's, oh man, I meant to roll to his side. That sucks. I did not mean to take that damage. But I got heal miracles now. Let's -a go. All right, sweet. That was like just enough. All right, I mean, we're a little sliver short, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the Chancellor is kind of ro robotic. I mean, you need more damage output, but whatever. It's true. I need more damage output really bad. I maybe I should have. I guess I just haven't. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna count on. I'm gonna count on the pine resins carrying us for the gargoyles, and then after that, we're definitely gonna pump all our points, probably into strength. As much as I like the thrusty bits, I feel like strength just synergizes with faith better than dexterity does. Though I could also just do whatever build. Like, if you're... <gasps> Honestly, if somebody in chat wants to be like, Hey, you should play the game naked with your fists. I will absolutely do that. I'll get my ass beat. But if you want to see it, I will make it so. Alright, let's head up here. We got all of our ass... Oh, that's right. I forgot. The Chancellor doesn't respawn. But the little bony boys do. Oh, that was my bad. All right, all right, bring them on. I guess I'll, I'll pop one Estus for now. It's okay. Uh, hey guys, welcome. Yep, line up, single file line, please. Orderly fashion, you'll get your... I'll give you the poke real soon. All right, all right, yep, 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 line it up. I forgot, oh, our, our strong attack gives us this cool lunge with it, which is oof, helpful until that happens. All right, all right, retreat a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, they're coming. I can hear their footsteps. There they are. Uh, hey guys. How's it going? How's it hanging? So aggressive. Honestly. What did I ever do to you? Okay. 
Okay, yep, there we go. Play it nice and cool and safe. And block at the same time. Oh, uh, there's too many dudes. Oh, too many dudes. There are too many dudes on this dance floor. Too many dicks. Uh, hello, fellas. Oh, gosh. Oh, one at a time, please. Ouch. Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. Oh, that was dumb. It's fine. You know, I love that about Dark Souls, is that you can be in the middle of, like, you know, you gotta do your action, and then it requires you to commit, and then you get that... <laughs> The glorious oh shit moment as you do it and you realize that was dumb. I've made some mistakes in my life. Uh, like that. Exactly like that. Yikes. Oh, I forgot. God, Dark Souls is so tough at the beginning. We are very under underpowered right now. We'll get there. Hopefully we'll get, we'll get a little beefier. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, oh, so close. One more stab ought to do it for that guy. And that one. Oh, sweet. Oh, two in a row. Nice, nice little shish kebab moment there. No. Oh, that was too short. Okay. All right. Finish your swinging. We got swingy ding ding. Let's go. There we go. Oh, that wasn't 69 damage, though. That wasn't worth. <laughs> oh, yeah. For a decent early game dex weapon. Yeah. Kill the shopkeeper in the undead burg. He gives you the uchi katana, right? That's good stuff. That is a really good weapon. Also, when he dies, he says someone's name, which is a character who... And we never, like... We've never gotten a confirmation on who that character is, which is real weird. But actually, that's kind of right on brand, because Dark Souls is just like that. They'll, they'll leave you wondering for the rest of forever. Some questions just aren't meant to be answered. I guess that's okay. All right, let's equip all of our items, because we're going to need them. Firebomb, black firebomb, gold pine resin. Okay. Okay. I think we got... <laughs> we'll try our best. I might go back to the longsword, though, because if you chop off... Uh, their tail, you get a good weapon as well. I just, uh, I wish I could use that, but 46 strength. We are very far away from being able to use that. All right, all right. Um, you know what, I might do one more. I might top off my health real quick, because I know once I'm out there, I'm probably not going to be able to get a chance to use the heal miracle since it takes so long. All right, here they come. Oh, you know what, hang on. They're going to play some real, real cool boss music. I have to turn off my music. All right. Oh, I saw his health bar up there. I saw that. I saw you. you ain't being sneaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, that one looks way armored than, way more armored than all the other ones. I wonder if that's a coincidence. A spoiler alert. It's not a coincidence. Yeah, I could use the halberd if I two-hand it, but I kind of. Or I, yeah, I think if I two-hand it, I'll have enough strength for it, but I kind of really want to use my shield. It saved me quite a few times so far. But I could. It's true, I could halberd. That is a very good early weapon. Oh god, my, oh, my damage is so abysmal. I need, I need to do that pine resin next time. He, yep, alright. Dodge the swing. Okay, okay, alright, come back down. Oh, 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 that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the camera is your worst enemy. There we go. Thank you, Gold Pine Res. We just shred this guy. There we go. There's the cargo tail axe. Woo. Oh, yep, there's the second one. You can't just have one, one boss. Nope, that's not Dark Souls level difficulty, you know. Gotta have two. Oh, there's the fire. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. We were able to block some of that, but not, not enough. Uh, are we far enough away? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice, dodge that. Let's do another swing. Okay, glad we could block that one. Ouch! Uh, no, no thank you. All right, all right. Oh, I need to dodge. Oh, I dodged too soon. No, please no fire. Please no fire, anything but that. I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. Ouch. Ow! Oh, oh, oh that just went right through me. Okay. All right, let me let me let me pop up. Peter, pop up. Okay, there we go. Oh no. Oh, oh, my resins are gone. Yep, damage is back to being absolutely nothing. Okay, this is my one chance. Okay, go, go. Good. Roll through that one. Ouch. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, oh, that didn't dodge. I thought for sure. Oh, that would be enough. Okay, okay, might be a bad time to heal, but I wish for it anyways. Ooh, that's a lot of fire. Oh, I don't want to be back into a corner, not again. Okay, I'm gonna carefully try and, yep, run around him. 
Oh, darn it. I thought he was going to do the horizontal sweep. I wasted a good attack opportunity there. Oh, now I got too greedy. I got too greedy. Ah, oh, shit. That was... Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Actually, I don't know how I would have dodged that fire. I think I was sentenced to death from the very beginning. Okay, all right. Lesson learned. Um, I think, what do I need for the tail axe? Ooh, 14 and 14. I'm actually kind of close to being able to use that. That would raise our damage output quite a bit. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, that gargoyle bobbed me on the head. I got real lucky right until the very end because in the end, it doesn't even matter. Lincoln Park said it, and they're absolutely right. Okay. Um, shoot. Does Andre sell more gold resin? I feel like no, right? What does he sell here? You got any, any goods I can purchase? Yeah, he doesn't have any consumables. Rats! Okay. We still have one, though. It's not entirely a lost cause yet. I might switch to that halberd, though. I think the range might be worth it. Even if we don't have a shield. Yeah. Not, I don't have the stats to use it unless I wield it with, yeah, both hands. Oh, no, that, that slows down our roll. Okay, all right, that sucks. I got to unequip more gear, but I can still, I can still do the fast roll if I, yeah, if I have just the hell of it. Yikes. Okay, going back into battle. Oh, that's right. You have the shortcut down to Firelink. I should. That's right. That's so true. I should upgrade my Estus. I forgot that I grabbed the, uh, yeah, I have the Firekeeper soul. I can get that Estus up to plus one. Alright. Alright. That's fair. I definitely should. More healing probably would have saved me, too. Okay. Hello, friends. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. Let me just insert that into back. Alright, and then... Yeah, that's right. The, the power attack is a spin. Ooh, that's super good. And we got stabs. That's right. Halberd is a really good early weapon. I probably should have been using that. I was relying on my shield perhaps too much. Okay, we'll head back to Firelink. I'll upgrade that. And is there anything else I need to be doing while I'm here at Firelink? I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've unlocked any like big merchants or anything to be there yet. So I'll just go down there. We'll upgrade that. I need some gosh dang stamina. I need some gosh dang everything right now. I'm so weak. I don't understand. I guess, yeah, just, god, at the start of Dark Souls 1, you are just the absolute weakest. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if this was, if this were Bloodborne, if this were Dark Souls 3, which I'm way better at. Alright, alright, let's see, let's, oh, I need to go down to, oh yeah, I think our buddy might, you know, our, our buddy might be down here, there he is, <laughs> kicking. Ah, uh, hello there. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a bad reward, honestly. <laughs> and there's the signature Evil Dark Souls laugh. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh yeah, did you enjoy that big ass list I sent you? I did. That's real good. I'm glad you're holding on to those. I think. Yeah, I think I only have, I have like one ROM maybe that you don't have on there, but it's, I don't know. That is a very extensive list. I'm very impressed. I'm glad you have that too, because that's like, that's video game history that we could lose if, you know, things continue to go this way where ROM sites are taken down. It's rough. It's real rough. I'm glad you're holding on to the good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I do... I mean, I could save the Firekeeper soul for a thing that happens later, but maybe maybe it's worth it to get the early reinforcement. It's fucking Latrec here. He is he is conveniently positioned in a place that will mm, kind of reveals everything he's he's about to do real quick. Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. God, his voice is so smug. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're super weak in one, but in two, you level up incredibly fast early game. That's true. That is absolutely true. Can't wait to experience those joys all like, all over again. Oh, alright. You like that, like that little impale situation going on? After all? <laughs> Thank you. See, I didn't have enough Dark Souls laughing in my life. And then, luckily our crestfallen friend over here is gonna... 
He's gonna deliver on that, where we were severely lacking. Okay, all right, we got the halberd. Should be a little stronger now. I could go back up to Andre and maybe reinforce this to plus one, because we do have a little bit of Titanite, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If it's not enough, then maybe I'll go back to Andre and we'll do the do. Yeah, I'm excited to play, probably gonna play Dark Souls 2 and 3 as well, but I do have them. And I do love those games, even if I'm not the best at them. So, oh, oh, hello, hello, I forgot, I forgot, he's up here. Yeah, that is way more damage. You know, I could have, like, oh, ooh, even with my other weapons, I could have just, like, started two-handing them just to increase that damage output. Because just the act of doing that does make a big difference. You get that extra strength. Oh, soon enough, it's time to start getting, yeah, N64 ROMs and then GameCube. I like it. I like your commitment to the Nintendo. It's very worth. It's very worthwhile. You're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> uh, important work. Unsung heroes these days, collecting, collecting less than legal emulators and ROMs. It's important stuff, people. It's video game history we're talking about. And it's being lost in ages. Nintendo's out here burning books. Their own books, which is extra ridiculous. Okay. Go. There we go. Is there any more? Any more bony boys? No, nope, I think that's it. Let's. I'll go up here. I'll use. I'll bust out the talisman. Oh, and then it's it's pain time. Is it pain for me? Is it pain for the gargoyles? We'll find out. Uh, spoiler alert. It's probably gonna be for me. Just, just being honest. Okay. Good. Healing slightly better. I wonder if if I unequip the talisman, do I have? Nope. It's not enough for those gauntlets. Can I hollow warrior waistcloth? Hey, there we go. I can wear my little like half skirt and I can still get a fast roll. That is a tiny bit more defense. I don't know if it'll be a good game changer, but still it makes me feel good. I want, I want to grab my stuff before the second gargoyle comes down. That's going to be real important. Oh, oh, I dodged the wrong way. All right. All right, resin me up, baby. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that's way more damage now. In fact, I'll even, I'll even flex on him, give him a little spin. Okay, actually, I did a really dumb thing, but I got lucky and he didn't hit me. I shouldn't have survived that. Uh, or this, yep, I saw that coming. Okay, now I have a better chance to heal. Not that I like super needed it, but you know, better safe than sorry. Woo! Ouch. Ah, uh, you dodge one and then the other one hits you because they can just phase their attacks through each other, which sucks a lot. See that? Like, if they actually burned each other, that would be amazing. Ah, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. Yes, actually, that's perfect. They'll just sit there and breathe because that one, that attack takes them quite a while. Oh, God, their reach is so long. Their halberds are so much longer than mine. Not that size matters you know it really doesn't but in this case it does okay all right all right let me heal let me heal all right i see the fire coming oh no 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 Think, oh no um i'm letting myself get backed up into the corner again oh yikes dodge too soon and there's the fire which does give me a chance to heal but i really don't like where i'm standing right now Oh, it's bad. Oh, I've, I've made some mistakes in my life. This might be, yeah, that's death. Woo! Woohoo! I'll tell you what, we got them to approximately the same amount of health. Yikes. It's okay. I think, I think I'm being too, being too defensive and panicky. I think I really just need to just get in there and do damage. Because if I can just get rid of one of them, that's going to make this fight so much easier. Honestly, the gargoyle isn't that hard of a, like, if you're fighting them just one-on-one, -on -one, they're not that bad. It's just the fact that they have two at the same time. Oh, rough stuff. It's okay. You know what they say? Third time, third time's the charm. Uh, I'd like to believe that. If it's, uh, if it's, you know, if it's not, I'll, I'll do some horrible challenge. I, <laughs> ouch, earlier on, I was drafting the idea of, uh, I don't know. I thought about this. Very bad idea. I'm glad I didn't do it. 
Um, I was like, ooh, every time I die, I'm gonna do squats. I'm gonna like simultaneously do leg day while gaming. But no, that would have been absolutely, oh, that would have been so much agony. I've already died many times. And I think uh, Twitch doesn't allow you to do a lot of that stuff. I mean, I mean, I think there's a little bit of leeway that might be okay. But I was reading on their like terms of service and like you're really not supposed to like do a lot of like painful challenges like that or like excessive like oh take a shot every time something something happens in the video game is not exactly allowed you know I'm still learning those twitch rules I'm trying not to get banned that would be great which again I'm playing some uh, playing a little bit of music earlier in the moments that are like. I mean, there's big stretches of quiet, which does happen a lot in the Dark Souls. Like, I've been, I've been trying it out, trying to play a little bit of music. I got this playlist of uh, music that I mostly like. It's mostly not big copyrights, so, uh, you know, more indie producers. So no, no Carly Rae Jepsen in this playlist, unfortunately. Okay, all right, here we go. But yeah, I've been trying to uh, enjoy some good tunes while... Uh, there's some more silent moments going on, which uh, is most of Dark Souls, with the like, yeah, with the exception of boss fights, games almost entirely no music. So I've been playing my own, and I do. I'm very scared of that copyright. I'm very, very scared. I think, uh, in, I think I'll be okay for the most part. Whoa, oh, oh, I thought, I thought, ah, did you thought? I thought I had enough time. Should be okay. If uh, if there are parts of <laughs> video later that end up being silent because copyright. I'm trying my best to use non-copyrighted music or music that I have, you know, like a lot of uh, Oh, I forgot that he does that with his tail. Which also, even if you've acquired the weapon already, it becomes a good idea to cut that tail off so that he doesn't uh, use that move anymore. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go ham. Uh. Oh, X. We do a decent amount of damage per poke. Oh no. No, the second one's here. I haven't done nearly enough damage to the first one. Okay, okay. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathe fire. That's perfect. No, I missed. Oh no. Okay, okay. He's going for the swing. There's the second one. And the third one. Oh, there's fire coming. Oh, oh good, good. Got your fire. Forget that. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Whoa! Woo! Alright, alright, all right, come on over. Aw, um, both went for the fire. Oh, missed. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'll use this time to heal. Perfect, perfect. Both come over here. I hate when they do those flying moves, because I have no opportunity, no window of attack. Alright, yep, yep. Oh, that went right over his tail! Oh, oh no, 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 please don't wake up in the fire. Okay, okay, we're good, we're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, that wasn't exact. Oh, uh, we're not chilling as much as I thought we were. Okay. Mm, Estus, I'm glad we improved it, that was worth doing. Ouch! Ouch! Woo! -hoo. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, that's right, I need to. Uh, I need to not do that. Well, yep. Mm, 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 mm. All right, there's another death. Holy shit! I thought I was good at Dark Souls, but I thought I thought wrong. I'm very, very wrong. Yikes! Yeah. Oh yeah. You probably shouldn't bother with the Wii because motion control is too. It is. Motion control is very annoying to set up. And yeah, I you know there definitely are some good Wii games that like are worth preserving. It would be great if Nintendo bothered to like preserve them and restore them on like the virtual console or bring them to the switch or anything like that but you know they won't i suppose though i think you know just in regards to everything i think uh, nice that actually worked out i think preserving like ooh, hey hey no healing put that down ouch that that still hit me all right fine i think i do that every time I'm used to Dark Souls 3's rolling mechanic, because, like, unfortunately, with the way the camera works, you can only, like, go forward, and, ah, well, they change that stuff later. I just gotta get, I just gotta get back into the swing of things again. Once I do, this will be, we'll be back to, we'll be chilling. It'll be easy peasy. I mean, not easy, it's Dark Souls. Dark Souls is never easy, but, 
I'll just get a little more acclimated. That's what I meant. Ouch. Why did I only do six damage? See, oh, he must have done the blocking thrust thing. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, yeah, my best bet is to go ham on the first one and then play defensive when the second one comes. I know. I'm trying my best. My best just isn't good enough. No, that's fine. I just gotta master forgive me. I gotta go all out just this once. I'm just gonna kick it into overdrive. Alright, alright. You know what? Yeah, if I'm gonna... I can just poke and take him out one at a time. I am okay with that. Very okay with that. Oh, alright, two at a time is also good. <laughs> alright, excuse me while I play Katamari with their dead bodies real quick. And then... Oh, it's time. Wait, I hear footsteps. Is there one more? Is there one more of those buggers? What am I hearing? Am I hearing my own footsteps? Huh. Now I don't hear them anymore. That's weird. That's real weird. I'm, mm, I'm questioning how remastered this Dark Souls is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, God, I do need to catch up on JoJo. The, the writers for A Cruel Angel's Thesis is writing the new OP for the new season. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that rules. Oh my god, that's so good. Because, I yeah, I'm not caught up on JoJo, but I, I have heard all of the openings for it, because JoJo's just so iconic. They have, they've had some very good openings. I love the first one. Ooh, at most, I'll get Radiant Dawn, since there's no motion control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. I That is my favorite Fire Emblem game. I can't believe I almost forgot. Oh, hello. Oh, I almost forgot that was on the Wii. Just, I guess just because there is no... They didn't even bother with the motion controls. That's just not happening in that one. Really? Oh my god. Ah! God, I love that game. I love that game! That's such a good Fire Emblem game. Oh, this is bad. This is... <laughs> ah! Nope. Yep, there's that. Alright, alright. Yep, yep, yep. Get on down. I'll pop the heel. Hey, I pressed the roll button, I swear. Alright, there's one, there's two. Roll out of the way of that one. There's another. Ooh, he staggered. Nice. Give me another hit in there. Nice, roll through that. No, no, the second one's coming. The second one's coming. Alright, now I gotta unlock the camera, because it's, it's danger zone now. Yeah, 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 bring on the fire. Yes, there we go. One secured stab. Woo! There's another. I just want to focus that one down first so I can just fight one at a time. Yes! Oh, nice! That got the cost of a stagger. Oh, no, no, no. I do not want to fall off the building. No, thank you. Alright, 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 alright. Let me move, let me move, let me move. Okay, so close. I'm so close to taking down that gargoyle. And then I just gotta. Ow! I just gotta not do that. Nice. Oh, he's going for the second swing. Oh, he's going for a third. Hey, but it doesn't matter because he's fucking dead. Bitch, take that. Woo. And we got another halberd. The gargoyle one, which is good. We can eventually replace this one. Not that this one's bad, mind you. I think that's something really cool about Dark Souls is that pretty much every weapon can be improved to, enough to be, like, viable throughout the whole game. I think that rules a lot. I mean, you know, there's some exceptions. Obviously, the broken straight sword just sucks regardless. But here we go, baby! Uh, so close. We are so close. One more ought to do it. There we go, gamers! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Victory achieved! Nice. Swing Humanities is good. We don't have the well, what is it gesture yet, which is unfortunate. But we'll get it real soon. Yeah, 10,000 souls, there we go. And we can use all of that in the boosting stamina and damage output. That's good. Ah yes, this area. Nice and empty, nobody's here. Now we must, we must go, go do the thing that is in Oscar of Astora's family line. He's, we have a saying in my family. You must go on a holy pilgrimage and ringeth the bells of awakening. Very, yeah. Doesn't everybody have a saying like that in their family? Oh, hey, gargoyles. Look at those ones not holding weapons. Those are good. Those are friends. That's what a friend looks like. Not charging towards you with weapons. Alright. There's our first bell. One of two down, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that rings out for everybody. 
something that is super duper cool about this area, and you know, you experience it more later too, is that when you ring that bell, other players who are playing the game, they also hear that bell, even if they're like, they're not in your world. So like, if we're playing and we hear that bell go off, it's because somebody, somebody just did the deed and killed those gargoyles. It also, uh, oh, there he is. Hey, he just wants a hug. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Oswald of Kerry, the top. That's right. That's right. Yeah, there's a there's like a sinning mechanic in this game, in killing other players or killing like innocent NPCs. You can accrue sin, which is like a is a thing here, and then other players can chase you down. I kind of like it. It's a cool mechanic. However, the fact that like switching covenants before in the first game, you freaking it causes you to just like, yeah. It causes you to accrue sin to like abandon a covenant before, which is really lame, because what if you want to switch a lot? You have to go up here to press the abandon button to be able to do it without sinning. <laughs> Kill Oswald! You're right, I could. I could do it to him. Uh, also, one of my favorite lines in this game. He's, again, the Dark Souls NPC thing, they're like, oh, it's it's only, I, I talk in a small British accent. It's only human to commit a sin. <laughs> and proceed, proceed to have the worst evil laugh. I should. All right. All right, y'all ready? We're going to do this. We're going to kill him. Here we go. Oof. Nope. Nope. You put that down. You put that down. Stop your spell caster. Uh, I do. He is a cool. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, he just got off a big heal. Okay. All right. Oh shoot! What does that do? I forgot what that does. I think that like cancels all spells in the area or something. But that's fine. Cause I'm not using any spells here. I kind of do want his gear. So if he go, you know, if he just wants to die and give that to me, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, oh, he just tried to parry me. That would have been bad. Oh, nice. He rolled right into the attack. Thou shalt regret this. <laughs> That's it. Twin Humanities, Book of the Guilty. We are straight up sinning. That's right. We're here to be gay and commit crimes. That includes sin. We're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's your favorite weapon in this game? I really like, ooh, Quilog's Fury Sword is a really good contender. I was, yeah, I was gonna say, that, that weapon rules, and I love, like, oh, the after effect that follows it, and the fact that it has, like, the chaos effect built in. Quilog's Fury Sword is a really kick-ass weapon. Oh, I like it way better than the, the Chaos Blade, which is the other Quilog weapon you can get. It's good. It's real dang good. It's heckin' good. Alright. Alright, take me back down. Going back to Fire Link. Cause then I wanna I wanna jump over this thing so we can get to a secret area. Oh wait, no, we have the sewers to go to first. We don't jump right into Blight Town. All right, we can progress up in the Undead Burg then. I don't have to go back to the asylum just yet. I don't know if I'm necessarily strong enough for that. Okay, take me back down. I do need his ring before we go to Blight Town though. That is very important. All right, here's Fire Link. Let's go ahead and level up we'll do all that good stuff we got plenty of souls to spend you know what actually i've got souls to crush too we got more to spend if i don't no not drop not drop just want to use that's oh oh that's so good the use button just inherently goes to like using multiple items at once dark souls did not do that before you had to do each one individually ah uh, that is good this is what i'm talking about little quality of life changes that the later games have real primo stuff I'm surprised you didn't level up first so you didn't lose those 10k souls. It's true. I thought about it, but I was like, nah, I can I can probably kill Oswald. Alright, alright. Actually I should check what weapons I have and what their requirements are real quick. 
got, yeah, Gargoyle's Halberd is, is also the same as regular Halberd. It just does a little bit more damage, which is nice. Um, the Tail Axe needs 14 of each, and it's also a good weapon. Da, da, da. And it's got a, it's a funny bendy weapon. It's got like little bendy bones, and I do like it. All right, in that case, I'll upgrade both of these to 14, and then we'll raise strength up to, yeah, we'll bust strength up some more, because I think, I think that's where we're headed. We gotta use some big, some big meaty weapons. Great, so now we got another halberd. Oh, that's right, this one has a different moveset. It's not just stabs, it's more axe-like. And then, oh yeah, that's the tail. Nice, oh look, look at it bend. Look at this bendy weapon. It's great. Oh, it's so good. Don't ever, don't ever let them tell you Dark Souls doesn't have a sense of humor. Cause that's good. That's real good. It's a real, real good. Oh, oh yeah, to get some levels, I could go to the forest. That's true. That is true. I could also go fight Havel and get his ring. Or Havel. That might be really helpful. Then I wouldn't have to be naked all the time just to achieve the, the regular roll or the, the fast roll. That would be good. I might do that, and then that also, like, that also links to the forest. Oh, but that links to the forest on the other side, not through the undead berg side. Whoop. Nah, -uh, not today. Oh, that's right. That's that moveset. In this game also, some weapon types, some movesets punish you for missing. Like some of the heavier weapons, like the scythe, axes, maces. Oh, nice 69 damage there. Some of them will, like, punish you for missing. Which is a, it's a little scary. You gotta consider that, you know, when you're picking a weapon you wanna use. This is one such weapon. Hmm. Alright, alright. Come on, bring it up. I see you up there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go this way to Havel. I think it's easy. And then, oh, there's our little rat friend. Bye, rat friend. Come on. Oh, he didn't drop the humanity. I really. I was hoping he would. Oh, for Quelog, I need one more dex over oh, the Fury Sword. That's true. I do really like that weapon. Oh, I was gonna say, my favorite weapon is probably, uh, from the Artorius expansion. They got the, the, like, the gold and silver tracer, because those, just like, uh, Quilog's Fury Sword, they come with cool fancy, like, trails behind them, and I'm, I'm a sucker for that. That's so cool. It just looks good. Alright, let's see. There's our boys up here. We got the, the one's gonna bust out from behind the wood. We got the archer. Yeah, there they all are. Everyone is here! Smash Bros confirmed. Uh, random undead bird hollows are being added to Smash Bros. You heard it here first, folks. Take the bend. Nice. Oh, that's oh, that's a Grave Lord sign. I don't give a shit about that. Here. Yes, let me rest at the bonfire. Then we're gonna go up to the tower. We're gonna, we're gonna press our luck against Havel the Rock. It's gonna be spooky. We're gonna fight Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and it's gonna be... It's gonna be some risky biz new, but he has one of the best rings in the game. Uh, which just increases your equipment load, and it's great for every build, of um, any occasion. That was, that was not great on my part. I don't know. Let me heal up real quick. Hello. You know, I might, actually, I could just use the bonfire right here. I barely did anything. Oh, Grave Lord thing is gone, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Quilox Fury Sword scales with Dex, too, and I think I'm gonna go a little bit more Strength, Faith, so that I can be in the Warriors of Sunlight and Jolly Cooperation. Because friendship, friendship wins. That's what it's all about. Hey, more 69 damage. Ooh, backstab. With delicious blood Oh! <laughs> all right, okay. All right, I didn't even do anything with that guy. He just jumped off. I'm, I'm sorry it had to come to that. Oh, 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 no, let me dodge, let me dodge. Woo! Hooey! There we go. Luckily, this thing has a big sweep arc, so I can get rid of a bunch of enemies at once. Which rules. That's super good. All right, all right. Speaking of multiple enemies, because we got a ouch, we got a couple over here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Firebomb guy. I see you. I acknowledge you. It's time to die. Good. Uh, oh, I want to. Mm, I want my heal miracle. Can I keep the talisman on me and still? Okay, cool. I can keep the talisman on me and still do the fast roll. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, just use the giant club in Blight Town. True, I should just club it up. You're absolutely right. Once I get to Blight Town, which is gonna be... Oh, that's that is the one thing I'm looking forward to the least. I'm really, really glad to be playing Dark Souls again, because I love this series. And this, specifically, 
has been a jolly time of nostalgia and dying. Like, even, even all the repetitive dying, it reminds me of my first time playing and therefore is actually pleasant and nostalgic. Did I grab... I grabbed the Tearstone ring from over here, didn't I? I did. Probably should be wearing that, huh? But that... Okay, we can still fast roll with that. I forgot we had that. Alright, they're gonna... Are they gonna do the big the big burning barrel? Is that coming? You gonna give me the, the fire boy? Or is that only on the first time up here? Oh, okay. I guess we're good. Here we go. Oh, it's Havel time. Cause I've you know, speaking of giant clubs, we're gonna we're gonna see a big boy come one up real soon. Alright, where's he at? Oh yeah, I forgot. I could be playing music. We are we're probably not gonna be fighting any bosses like in quite a bit. Let's bust some tunes. I mean, Havel might as well be a boss, because he's going to be very difficult and scary right now. Though I have killed him at even lower levels before. I used to be good at this game, believe it or not. Woohoo! And there's the backstab. Okay, wow, 41 damage is not a lot. <laughs> but, luckily it's really easy to chain them on this guy. Alright, get up. Come on, Havel. And we'll do another one. There we go. Probably gonna have to keep this up for a little bit. A little bit. Come on. Swing! Swing a ding ding, baby! Oh I I just realized that's our that's our talisman that's just kinda like floating near our butt. Nice, it's a good look. Oh! That was that was close. Oh well. That wasn't that close. Alright, come on, get back up, get back up. Ugh. Yeet! There's another one. <laughs> this is it. Welcome to Dark Souls, everybody. Just chain backstabs for the rest of forever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think for a lot of this attacks, too, you barely have to, like, dodge roll out of the way. You can just kind of keep moving. All right. Oh, okay, here he goes. It's getting a little more into... Woo! Getting into the swing of things. Quite literally. Okay. Come on. Get back up. Come on. Woo! <gasps> Admittedly, I could have used, I could have saved one of my pine resins for this right here. It would have helped this go by a little quicker. We got him like halfway down now. And there's another backstab. God, Dark Souls 1 is ridiculous with those backstabs. They just, they just give them to you for free all the time. All right, go on, put the club down. I said put the club, put the club down. You know, he has so much poise that Oh, kicking him is not gonna make him put his weapon down. Oh, woohoo! Alright, we're good. I don't think he would one-shot me, though. Even if I got hit, I don't think he'd kill me, like, just like that. Huh. But, as long as I keep dodging, I'll be okay. There we go! Also, if you're wondering what Dark Souls PvP looks like, it's, it's exactly this. It's just Backstab City. Though you'll probably die in one Backstab as opposed to, like, 50 that Havel here can tank. You're kind of not supposed to fight this guy until way later. Cause you can come in through that door on the other side. That leads to the forest. Come on, do another swing. Uh-huh, perfect. There's another one. Riveting. Riveting stuff. Alright, come on. Come on, get over here. Do one more. Uh-huh. Yeah! I'm probably, I'm thinking about it, and I'm probably definitely, I've been able to avoid it so far. I have been invaded, but I've never actually encountered the people who have invaded me yet. I know, eventually, I'm definitely gonna have to PvP at some point, just, just due to the nature of Dark Souls. I'm, I'm getting real, I don't know, that's scary. But we did it! I did it! You know what? Yeah, we did it, together. Be wary of tough enemy. Nah, he wasn't even shit. I didn't get hit once. Alright, that's real important because now we got Havel's ring, which means we can wear a lot more, which is good. And still, okay, well, okay, so we can't wear all of that. <laughs> Maybe if I do it with no helmet? Yeah, there we go. We get a fast roll and now I'm wearing just a little bit more armor than I had before. Thanks to Havel's ring. It's definitely, it seems like a small thing, but it's definitely worth it. That ring was worth having on just about everybody. At least through my experience, I've pretty much every time I've gone through Dark Souls, I never take that ring off. Whether you're a, a sorcerer or like a pure cleric, dex builds almost always use it. You know, it's that way you can get the faster rings with like the, the wood grain ring. It's almost always worth using. 
Okay, now, God, what I really want to do is I want to get across the bridge with the Hellkite Drake. But I know that's gonna be, that's gonna be problematic. Oh, here we go. Basement key. Nice. I forgot about that. Let's head down here. Oh yeah, this is where we want to head next, anyways. Let's do that. Slide down here. Opposite Snake Eater. And then... Yeah! Here we are. Try jumping off! Nice. 219 rating. Nice. Oh, we got a shortcut up ahead. Uh, oh yeah, this is right up here. We saw this before. See all these guys are dead? Boom. That's what... I, I love that about... God, the first Dark Souls... I mean, I think all the Dark Souls games do it to some extent, but the first one especially, it's this huge interconnected web, and like, bonfires are few and far in between, but they all connect to, like, a bunch of different areas. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, I forgot that these guys do bleeding. Oh, I think I'd rather have my halberd out right now and not this. Okay, but we can get rid of one, and then one more swing ought to do it for that one. Okay, good, good, good. There's probably going to be more of those dogs. If, if I'm remembering this area right, we're going to have more of those dogs. So let's switch to Gargoyle Halberd, which does weigh one more pound. Is that going to... Okay. We still have our fast roll. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Now kill the gold boy to get the ring of protection. Yeah, that's the other really good ring. But oh. but I actually want to actually wanna see his, uh, his quest line through, so I'm not going to murder him early. Though you can. You can murder him early on. But. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. The door. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy's locked in here. Oh, how did this ever happen? I'm finished. There he is. Now nah, you're free. Luckily, I, yeah. This is why you buy the key from that merchant earlier. I'm saved. I'm free. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs, the sorcerer. It's right. I forgot his name is Griggs. What a powerful spellcaster name, Griggs. All right. Yep. Oh hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. There it is. Pretty much every NPC we rescue will eventually go to Firelink Shrine. Hey, Exemplar! Welcome! Welcome to the stream. Warm welcome. How you doing today? He has an important task at hand, which is uh, actually to just stand here for a good while. Though eventually he's going to meet us at Firelink Shrine, which pretty much every NPC we rescue does. Oh, here we go! This is what I was looking for. And stop being pantsless. Good. There we go. I mean, not that we needed the pants. Like, honestly, having no pants is a good look. I'm, I'm absolutely down with no pants Sundays. Woo! But, you know, just makes me feel like it's probably gonna get a little chilly outside. I think, we're, you know, wearing some pants like these, probably worth it. Also, these Sorcerer boots are stylish. Got style on them. So flex my Tims on these guys real quick. Oh, oh, here comes the swarm. These guys with the torches, they have this horrible move where they just lunge forward and, yeah, that one. You get caught in that, it's it's very deadly. Oh, sweet, more Twin Humanities is good. Oh, you didn't beat the Capra Demon? Not yet, that's, that's where we're headed. Yeah. I'm excited. I know a lot of people will uh, hate the Capra Demon fight because it's a really small area, but I'm actually, I actually really like it. And if you really need to, uh, you can go, you can like, you can throw an alluring skull or go buy oral de a decoy. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there, there he is. There's some bad boys coming out of here. Some roguish bad boys. They got cool hoods and stuff. Uh oh. Oh, ooh, 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 I wandered in the wrong neighborhood. Ooh, they're, they're coming out of all sides. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, walk right into my spin. There we go. Let me heal before this guy gets over here. Perfect. All right, second swing. There we go. Hey, cool. We actually got one of their hoods. Can I wear it, or is it gonna? Is gonna make me way too much. Oh, I can wear it! Ooh, we're looking, ooh, we're looking spooky now. I like it. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Cavern Demon, worst boss! Yeah, he's not great. He's definitely not my favorite by any means. Definitely sucks a little bit. But I think, I think Bed of Chaos takes it for me for my least favorite boss. I just, I hate the mechanics on that one. Uh. <laughs> that room really is too small for three, yeah. It's too small for three enemies, and then the Capra Demon himself is also, he's really tall. He's a tall boy. He does make things pretty difficult. He's not, not their best design boss in, in this series, which is, like, too bad, because Dark Souls is filled with amazing boss fights. That demon, unfortunately, 
so oh 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 okay oh oh i was like oh why can't i go outside that answers that question i knew there was gonna be one more of them oh and another one hi please die he bit me he bit me Ooh, there it is there's that yeah that's the armor and stuff that the thief starts with that kinky black leather all right well we're, we're about to get into some some real some real pain is coming Hey, Mr. Death, welcome! Warm welcome. Oh, you got a, yeah, you got a very good weapon and cool fashion too. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, all of this stuff just kind of happened to be thrown together. We were naked for a real long time. Yep, here's the joys of the Capra Demon. The Cap, <laughs> the Capra Demon. Okay, yep, dog is gonna come up here. Whoa. I think uh, this is the strat I usually deploy, which is you just kind of just kind of keep running around this circle because Kappa Demon is a lot slower than the dogs, and you should be able to at least get some of them out of the way first. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh there's the dog. Ouch! They do do some pretty like awful chip damage, though. Please let me heal. Please let me heal. Oh, I forgot to turn off my music, didn't I? Now we're missing on the the cool Gregory chanting that is Dark Souls. Yeet. Okay, okay, I see that dog. Come on, I want the dog up here first. There we go. This is... Hey, no biting. All right, there we go. That is exactly the circumstance I wanted. Then we get a drop attack on him. This area sucks, though. It's so small. Ooh. Luckily, the fight itself isn't that bad, but, like, the fact that, the, like, your main enemy here is the arena instead of the actual enemy kind of sucks. Ouch. I... I swear I pressed the dodge button. Woohoo! Yahoo! Okay. All right. Let me drink the Sunny D real quick, and then there he comes. Ouch! He jumped on me. I mean, I did that to him, so I guess all's fair. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Do the swing. Swing it. Oh, shit. He did the second swing. I wasn't counting on the second swing. It's fine. It's fine. I think, yeah, we'll be okay be okay. Jump off the side. There he comes. Eh. Oh, I didn't mean a second swing. I think our second swing might not be worth it just because of the... No! I swear I pressed my dodge button. Ah. There we go. That dodge worked. Glad that one did because that would have been that would have been death. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. Oh, money back guaranteed. That was... What? Did you just do a jumping attack? Let me up here, let me up here. This is the strat. Unfortunately, because this arena sucks a lot, this is this is what you have to do. Oh, he did that attack. That's what that was. Alright, get over here. Binge. There we go. I got one for you too. Oh, there's that double swing. Luckily that one leaves him really open. There we go. Just sidestep that real quick. Come on. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's... There it is. Kappa Demon at it. Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, bold of you to not open up the sewer door. I wasn't too worried. Yeah, that's why... I, yeah, that's why I said the Kappa Demon is worst boss. The arena sucks. It sucks a lot. It's really dumb. And there's, like... There's kind of, like, no reason or lore for, like, this area right here. It just kind of exists. It's not great. Yeah, after where you go to the depths? That's right. It's sewer time. Uh-huh. If I can just remember how the hell to get there. I know it's through here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. It's been... It has been a long time since playing Dark Souls. And as happy as I am to be back, I just wish I remembered where to go more. Once I get there, though, I'll figure it out. That's Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was breakable. It's towards... Yeah, it's down here somewhere. It's definitely in this direction, is it not? I seem to recall that. Must be down here somewhere. Oh, oh, there's this guy. That's important. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. I know you got loot on you. There it is. Good. I'll take that soul. And then... Fucking... Where is it? Yeah, I want to get down there. How the fuck do I get down? Oh. No, <laughs> oh, there's the stairs right there. <laughs> uh, I knew that. I knew that. Oh, I finished the game eight times. Oh, dang. Ex exemplar. That is a lot of Dark Souls. 
sweet. I'm glad you can be our resident veteran. I finished Dark Souls 3 like five times. And I finished Bloodborne. I'll, yeah, I think I finished Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne five times each. But Dark Souls 1 I've only finished twice. And Dark Souls 2 I've never actually completed. I got to the final boss and then I lost my save data. So I've never actually finished Dark Souls 2. So I would love to, after we're done with Dark Souls 1, move on to Dark Souls 2 and like, ah, oh, to finish that, to like, to finally say that I've finished the Souls series would be great. Maybe eventually I can get my hands on a PS3 and play Demon Souls as well, but I know Demon Souls is not a s essential viewing because it's also not connected to the rest of the Souls series. Oh, ah, oh, there she is. This is the Moss Girl. You still have your senses. You still have your senses. Oh. oh, did you go to the back end of Lower Undead Burg? I don't think I have yet. I need to. Oh, I can help you if you want. Thank you. Appreciate it. From time to time. You know, I might, I might need some pointers on where to go. Yeah, yeah. She sells all the moss, which we're gonna need. She sells some really good things. Eventually, not right now, but eventually we're gonna want the purging stones, the transient curses, and the fucking... We need that blooming purple moss clump. For when we go to the, the horrors of... You're humdrum, show. Sure. When we go to the horrors of Blight Town, ugh, the one thing I'm not looking forward to, good old Blight Town. But on the bright side, I've heard that in, uh, I've heard that the remaster doesn't lag to all hell when you enter Blight Town, which is good. I'm very glad about that. That it's not gonna take 20 years to get through that area, and we can actually keep our cool 60 FPS. All right, what horrors lie down here? More hollows. All right, line them up. Oh, well, that was actually really close. Oh, so was that. We did it, though. You know, you just gotta, you gotta play chicken. You gotta show them you have no fear. Look in the face of danger and say, hey, let me finish. Also, let me grab that treasure. Yeah, did you finish, or did you beat Life is Strange yet? Uh, if you did, I got a great fucking game for you. I did. Yeah, we finished Life is Strange. Uh, we played the... Oh, true. Not gonna level up first. I probably should, huh? If I Yeah, the bonfire down in the depths is actually decently far away, and there's that one dumb water room with the dogs. I should go level up. I shouldn't be ballsy. I should go and... I should play it safe. Play it cool. Again, be like Fonzie. Fonzie, he was cool. Hey, shooting finger guns. Oh, but yeah, yeah, we finished Life is Strange. Uh, yeah, I think last Wednesday we finished the... We did the last episode of the prequel series, and then we also played, uh, what is it? The, yeah, the Adventures of Captain Spirit, or whatever it's called. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, which ended up being pretty, I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot, a lot. And it was cool to know that that, like, the character will return. Which also, I'm waiting for, ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, oh no, this is a bad weapon to use in these corridors. Oh, there we go. Never mind, this weapon's great. Uh, fucking... I'm really excited that, like, on the 20th, we're supposed to get some more news about Life is Strange 2. All will be revealed, so they say. At least we're getting a new trailer or something, right? It's better than just being... hanging on all these questions I've got. Ooh. Oh, that's right, I forgot that this combo has a third hit in it. That's cool. But, looks like we don't need it against these guys. Take me back to Fire Link, baby. Let me heal. Let me let me spend my soul. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's Griggs. Griggs. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow is the 20th. Today's the 19th. So we're getting that trailer real soon. Did you see? Sweet. The three young. I don't know what time, but if it comes out before the stream. We'll be sure to talk about it. it seems important. Poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Yeah, so Griggs here tells us a little, little bit of important lore, is that, oh, he's also a nice dude, but also he's, he mentions how there's, there's an expedition into the catacombs, and there's some girl going with them, and yeah, there's, there they are, yeah, Petrus has his friends are here, because last time he said he was, yeah, he was waiting for his homies to show up, departing with them shortly, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye, so it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Sure it was, dude. We barely ever talk. <laughs> yep. Hmm? 
What have we here? What you have look we here? Raggedy. But you look raggedy. At least you can do is look sharp. What? I look dead. Meet my lady like that. Don't meet my lady like that. You better tip her fedora at her when you see it. Hey, listen, bud. You see this fashion souls? I'm looking slick. You are undead as well. You have no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. You must not let this curse overcome us. Yeah, I gotta, I got a mission, all right. I gotta spend my souls. That's real important. Oh, I'm more excited for the Hat and Time news tomorrow. There's Hat and Time news tomorrow? I did not hear about that. That's awesome. I also haven't played a Hat in Time yet, but I do, I do want to play that as well. All of my friends have it, and they've all said it's super good. But to be fair, I know a lot of it is like fucking. Oh yeah, what were we gonna do? I want more stamina for sure. And yeah, we'll bust straight up to 18. All of my friends who have it and have played it and have been like, oh, you gotta play Hat in Time, it's amazing. They've all been very, like, uh... Wait, which way did I come in? Oh, that's right, I came in from the... Yeah, I need to go back up through the, the little sewer canal and then into the depths. But yeah, all of my friends who told me Hat in Time is amazing and great and I gotta play it. They all like, I don't know, they're all like big Banjo-Kazooie players and they've got that like nostalgia. I never did play Banjo-Kazooie, so I don't have, I don't have that connection. I think the only game kind of like that, which I did play, was Spyro, which I'm very excited for that remaster that it's getting. That they're doing, I mean, as, as excited as I am, they're doing some weird stuff with that remaster. Fucking, like how if you buy the, the physical version, you only... It includes three games, which rules, but if you buy the physical version, the, the physical collector's edition or whatever, you only get the first game, and then the other two, they give you like a digital code to download. And like, what is the point of buying a physical version if you only get one of the games? That is real weird. I'm just glad that more Spyro content exists at all, though. Oh my god, I love that game. <coughs> okay. All right, back down to the berg. There's this lone solitary archer. Did you drop anything? Nope. Okay. We get it. No items from him. That's fine. We don't even need him. Here we go. The horrors of the depths. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of close quarters though, so I might have to switch my weapon again. As much as I love this weapon, it absolutely kicks ass. Unfortunately, because there's so many. T Ow! Oh, I forgot the third guy's here. There's so many tight corridors that this weapon just doesn't work that well in here. I could switch to the gargoyle axe, but I feel like that also wouldn't be that good in here. Because that's got like wide horizontal sweeps as opposed to like really big vertical sweep like this one has. Yeah. Oh, the game I would recommend is Okami. Ooh, a hundred, a thousand percent. I love Okami. And they have an HD remaster, which super rules. It's so good. Yeah, and it's 20 bucks on Steam. It's super good. Oh uh, yeah, I'd recommend Hat in Time and Well. It's like Mario Sunshine, but with a Steam community, so you can download community levels. Ooh, that's nice. That rules. I also never did play Mario Sunshine, though. Another terrible sin of mine. If I'm being... If I'm being completely honest... Uh, uh, ouch. Yep, I was afraid of that. See, that's that, that terrible fire move that they have. I... Ooh. I didn't grow up on Nintendo as much as like a lot of my friends and peers did. Like my cousins had every Nintendo console and I definitely like I came over there and played a lot. Like I played I played a lot of Super Smash Bros. Melee for sure. But I actually didn't own any Nintendo consoles until the DS came out, which is a, a grievous sin, I know. So I oh oh that's right the butchers in here. Cool. Alright, let me see if there's a way I can get that rat without getting the butcher guy. Or no, I think the I think the butchers are women in this game actually. Um can I allure the skull? Come on, come and get it! Come and get it! Oh, he ain't even bothering. He ain't even bothering at all. Alright, fine. I'll just go up and smack him. No. No. No, fast boys. Chill out. Hold still. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Alright, come on, butcher. Swing the thing. There we go. Ooh, 
Oh, I forgot there's a big delay on that one. That one, it's a good trick because then you dodge way too soon and then they just track you and slam you as soon as you're done rolling. Oh, okay. Or, I mean, I could just stand there and take it. Okay. All right. Let me roll. Thank you. Okay. All right. Get over here, Butchie. Get over here. Come on. There's that attack. There. You know what? I'll give you one of my own. You have an overhead swing and so do I. Come on. All right. Run over here. Do your dramatic cool butcher thing. Would you just... Oh, woo! There we go. Nice. Come on, drop it. Nah. Okay, I, th I think we get the butcher's hood later. Or the, like, sack head or something. Oh, there's our first ember. <coughs> we need to bring that back to our boy Andre. The best boy Andre of Astora. <laughs> Not played Sunshine Unfollow. <laughs> I know, so grievous. You know what though, if if I can get my hands on a copy, I will absolutely play it. Cause I'd be more than happy to. Like, believe me, I would. I love Nintendo properties and I've only heard good things about Mario Sunshine. I just, unfortunately, you know, you grew up in a house where uh, couldn't get all of that, couldn't get all of the goods. All, had to had to put my video gaming on delay. Oh, ouch, ouch. Woo. Hey, chill out. Oh, chill out, please, 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 please. Okay, there's one, one and done. Yeah, this is the the water area I was talking about. There's quite a few areas where they slow you down to a crawl when you're in these zones, unless you have a special ring, which we will go back and get at some point. <coughs> Let's see, where do we go after this? Oh, that's right. I think we go back up and around. Yeah, there's nothing else in the in the bad water zone. It just grows down here. But we do need to go deeper into the depths. Let's uh, we'll go ahead and top off our health real quick. Yeah, a <laughs> hey, copy, aka ROM. Yep. <laughs> it's the truth, Nintendo. If you're listening, please, please understand. It's hard for a gamer out here. You gotta understand. I don't want to pirate your games, but hey, if if that's the position you're gonna put people in. Okay, yeah, then we jump over to this side. This is where we need to be, right? Oh, yep, there we go. If you see butchers falling from the sky, that's probably the area you need to go. Oh, dang it, I thought, I thought for sure I'd be able to get away from that one. Nice, okay, okay, dodge that. Okay, one more slam. No, not your slam. We'll talk about my slam. Okay, one more. We'll do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, did they delay Spyro so they could put all the games on one disc? Is that why they delayed it? Okay. You know, if that's the case, then I, I'm actually okay with the delay. That just seemed weird to not have it that way. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's deeper into the depths. That's where we want to go. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. There's all the, there's all the stats for the Gargoyles Halberd. Yeah, the... It is a good weapon early on, but the scaling isn't so good, so maybe... I, I will have to phase this thing out at some point. But it is definitely a good weapon for now. Oh, hang on, there's some... There's, yeah, there's uh, the Pyromancer guy in here. You! Yes, you! You won! Click here to claim your free iPod Nano. There he is. Ooh, the Pyromancer's flame looks really good now. I like that just little ball of fire in his hand. Thank you, Dark Souls Remastered. Well, I hope they add a Delfino Plaza level to Odyssey. <gasps> Ooh, that would also, that would be cool. That'd be real cool. I, I could see how that would fit really well. The 3D Mario crossover there would be sick. Huh. All right, are we, are we done talking? Yeah, okay. We exhausted their dialogue. That's also important. You gotta, you need to exhaust like every single person's dialogue in Dark Souls, otherwise you're missing out. There's sometimes they have goodies that they won't share until like the second or third time you talk to them. Okay, let me heal up one more time. Nice. And then let's go deeper in. Ugh. Oh yeah, oh be wary of up. Oh, true, true, true. Fucking, there's, there's slimes that descend from the roof. Oh, like that. Wow, legit what I was talking about. All right. Ah, oh, gross, get off me. <laughs> they told me be wary of up, and I was like, oh yeah, you should do that. Proceeds to not do it under any circumstance. 
I forgot that one was there, though. I know there's a hallway later that just has an like, endless supply of them. Uh, they're also really weak to fire. I kind of wish I had a fire weapon at this point, but I do not. Or if I had just picked the Pyromancer's start, would have been good. Ow! What? Oh! Yo, speaking of fire, chill out, dude. In that case, though, not in any danger, I think. I think that's the last one. So I'll pop a heal real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay. All the Spyro team said is it needs more love and care, but please put it on one disc, you goons. <laughs> I, my feelings exactly. That's so... That'd just be straight up goofy to not have it on one disc. Oh, alright. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. These, these tight corridors. It's gonna be nothing but problems. Oh, there they are. You can see all our gelatinous buddies hanging out on the roof. Uh, do you have the swordfish of the Night Kings? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I have any such sword. Nope. Nope. Doesn't look like it. At least not yet. I want to collect all the weapons. You gotta collect them all. Alright, there's... They're actually... Yeah, they're not that threatening once they get off the roof. You just gotta get them off the roof at first. And then, yep, he's gonna do some... Some bullshit. But it's fine, because right behind here is the door we need. Okay, open, open, yeah! Did that, oh, that's another one of those areas where the master key becomes such an important thing to have. Because if you don't have it, you gotta start going into the depths without having this bonfire here to get the key to go back around. Then to be able to do this, which I need to, you know, I have all of the, uh... yeah, I've got all these humanities saved up, so I'll go ahead and kindle this bonfire. Throw my Amazon Kindle in there. I don't need it anymore. I'll trade it in for 10 packs of Sunny D. And then let's spend some souls so we don't lose them. All right. Let's see. What can we do here? Eventually, I want to join the Warriors of Sunlight, so I will need some more faith. Okay. Let's go. Jolly cooperation for everyone. All right. Now we can... Oh, okay. I think our element of surprise is very much gone here. That's fine. Still got him. Okay. All right. Yeah, here we go. We're really delving into the depths now. One of my favorite enemies is just... There he is. It's just a big-ass rat. It's just an extra big rat. I love it. What's not to love about a giant rat? And a bunch of smaller rats. Just a ton of rats. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, I've made some mistakes. I thought I would go in the middle of them and do a big cool spin, but now I'm just... Oh, I just got myself poisoned. Alright, I'll have to turn back and go back to the bonfire because I don't have any of the anti-poison moss. Or, oh, I definitely need to get the miracle that, like, cures you of ailments. That one's going to be really good to have. Oh, great axe. Nice, nice. Another axe to our collection. More humanities is always good. See, like, I never have a problem grinding rats because they, they drop humanities. It's super worth having. One of the only enemies in the game that drop hard humanities, other than like the, the like skeleton babies outside of Nido's lair. All right, let's head back down into the darkness. And all right, all right, all right. I see you. There we go. Again, no element of surprise, but we didn't need it. And then, oh yeah, there's two ways you can go. You can jump down there behind the boxes, or you can go up that way. I think I'll go ahead and go down here. Or no, oh that's right. You have to open that uh, shortcut later. In which case, there's only way, there's only one way to go, which I'm okay with. Well, maybe I should have put my points into endurance. I'd love to wear more armor. All right, there's one. Taste the spin. There we go. That's that's more in line with what I wanted. Oh, oh, that spin didn't finish him though. Oh, never mind. Oh God, we're poisoned again. I thought for sure since they had such little health that that would do it. Ah, oh, they didn't even drop any humanities this time. Do I really not have any moss? I really don't. Oh, I should have bought some. Oh, I just didn't think I would need it until Blight Town. I forgot that the mice poison you. Oh shoot, what is going on with my stream quality? Not so good. Not so good. What's going on? Somebody used my internet? Oh, Exemplal! Thanks so much for the follow! Thanks for- and thanks for sticking around. Oh, how far am I in JoJo? Um... <laughs> I'm I'm not at episode 9 anymore, believe it or not. <gasps> Big surprise. I made it to episode 10. <laughs> uh, yes, I know. It's bad. I really need to catch up on that. I need to catch up on JoJo more. 
But I've been watching uh, one of the current anime that's coming out this season, Hanabato, the badminton anime, and that is like, ooh, I love it a lot. Everything about it is right up my alley. It's like, it's super well animated. This, oh, hello. Hey, I actually kind of forgot about that, but I happened to dodge at the right time. Oh, that rules. Oh, but the badminton anime, it's got, it's just incredibly well animated. It's a really good sports anime, which I haven't watched any, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. We're going to need that key, but there is also more to go down here and this way. Got the depths are huge. There's so many ways to go and terrible holes that you can fall into. Don't go that way. Yeah. Yeah, at least you met Joseph Joestar, one of the best JoJo's. I'm... Oh, I'm so excited. I'm real excited to see where JoJo goes. Again, I do need to catch up. I think one of these days when I don't have work, I just need to sit down and just binge watch just a ton of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I think that would be great. That would be super good. I think that would just be healing for the soul, too. Honestly. Because again, you know, I'm only 10 episodes in, but I do... I love it so far. I get a lot of like Fist of the North Star vibes from it, but like more colorful and just exciting and oh, ouch, 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 ouch. All right, all right, big rats. There's, yeah, that's right. We're not done with the channelers. There's there's more of our, our big, big Trident Robo caster boys. Luckily, we do way more damage now. Nice. It's actually really important to kill those guys, because otherwise, you'll get into a boss fight down there, and they'll, they can shoot from up here, and it's terrible. Oh, there's the rats. I did remember those ones. There we go. <laughs> God, the, the ragdoll physics on their bodies will never get old to me. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. The treasure. It's a Titanite shark, but it's a large one, which is good. There's going to be more, though. There's going to be more. And I think if we keep going this way, it'll eventually lead us to the boss door. I'm not entirely done exploring the depths just yet, though. There's quite a lot of... <laughs> a lot of good treasure, and a lot of rat bodies that can stick to your body. Alright, that hole is a trap. Don't want to go that way. I think if you run and jump, you can't actually get over them. Nice, there we go. I forgot that the running attack for the halberd class weapons is actually really good. Um, okay, do we want to go that way or down this way? Oh, no, this is a, no, this is not a dead end? Oh, no, that's got more slimy guys. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a hole. God dang it. That's, uh, I was just talking about that. That's the last thing I wanted to fall into. We have basilisks down here. Oh, gosh. Ooh, my curse tolerance is really low. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't surround me. Okay, okay, one down. No, 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 ooh. Oh, God, yeah, curse is bad. That's instant death, just waiting to happen. Okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I know, I know, I fell down the hole. Like, this is absolutely on brand for me. I was talking about how, like, oh, don't. Oh, here we go, yeah, those are some cursed people. If anybody gets cursed, they become these, like, spiky statues, and they, oh, oh, there's more. More of our big-eyed basilisk friends. Uh, nope, nope, I missed. Time to back up. Yep, forget it, forget it. I was just talking about, hey, you don't want to fall down the hole, so what did I proceed to do? Fall down the hole instantly. That's, that's what I do. All right, there we go. Got that squared away. And then, there must be more down here. Oh, that's right, I think the Ring of Evil Eye is over here. I also really want. There we go. Yeah, the ring of the evil eye. Some more enemies over there. How do I get to the giant rat? That's what I want to get to. Because you can get to the big rat and you can kill it. Oh, oh, the new season is part five, and that is the favorite part in Japan. So they're putting a lot of effort into it. Ooh, so it's gonna be great. That's ooh, that's real exciting. That's super good. You know, obviously, like when people have passion for what they're doing, that. Good, you know, that's huge. That changes everything. If that's something everybody loves, like that's a big fan favorite, then that's gonna... Oh, oh god, oh, what the... It's just up here. Oh, oh, there's another hole. <laughs> down you go. And then hopefully I won't go down there too. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. I want another humanity. That's right, I do. Okay, alright. Take me back down. 
I like this. Oh my god. I mean, the, yeah, the game is really silent, so I, I like playing music while I go, because I've already played through the game many times, experienced that delicious ambiance. But, oh man. While you're down here in the depths, there's just like constant, like, just wet, drippy, echoey sounds. It's really quite good. It's quite good. <laughs> I just want my sweet Italian boys already. Oh, is that the ones you were telling me that in the dub are like not great Italian accents? Are those the same Italian boys? Okay. Oh, not this way. I've been here already. Uh, let's see. I know there's one instance where falling down one of those holes actually leads you to a place like a lot faster. Unfortunately, a lot of like a lot of the depths looks exactly the same to me. So it's hard to tell. Oh, oh, that wasn't there before. Somebody died to curse recently, and so they put a little statue in my world. I love, God, that little asynchronous multiplayer thing that Dark Souls does. It, like, changes in your world can affect others. Like, uh, oh, here we go. Shiny treasure. Like how it wouldn't ring the bells of awakening, or, or like that, when you get cursed, it affects other worlds. Or like sometimes doing miracles, we put those little circles on the ground in other worlds. No, 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 no. No, 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 I ain't having any of that. Fuck off. There we go. Glad I held on to that firebomb, unfortunately. I only have five black firebombs left. Oh, there's another... There's another statue. Now, when is... I know Kirk Knight of Thorns invades me down here at some point. I don't remember when that is. What area I have to go to. When I get closer to the boss, I'm pretty sure. I just hope it's Kirk that invades me and not another player. Oh, that's the last thing I want. To be invaded down in the depths. Oh, I didn't get that little rat. Little teeny tiny rat. Oh, no. A character in part two has a way too over-the-top Italian accent in the dub. Oh, okay. Not part five. Oh, there's Kirk. I was just talking about him. Hey, I was just talking good about ya. Man. Everybody in this world is so much stronger than I am. Ouch. Oh god, he's got some decent poise. And his bleed buildup. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Okay, okay, okay. Carefully executed spin move. Please get me out. Oh, solid 69 damage. He has a lot of poise, though. He's, he's not taking a lot of damage from our hits. I mean, 69. I'm very glad we're doing 69 damage con consistently. For many reasons. Hey, there we go. So long, Kirk. Hopefully. Yeah, I can get his armor later, right? Hey, that's right. Retrieve the power of the Dark Spirit. Groovy. Got his humanity. We got his spiky shield. Cool, we're chilling. Going places. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, more rats. No, please, no poison. Hey, cut it out with the poison, will you? Okay, all right. Let me heal. Let me heal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, rat. All right, rat. Get over here. Just take me to the giant rat, please. I want to see the giant rat. Oh, oh, okay. I think I know where we are now. Not, not the giant rat, but still a good place to be. This is where, right? Yeah, down there is where we can get to Blight Town. Ugh, which is not where I want to go, but you know, you gotta. Sometimes in life, you gotta do things you don't want to do. One of which is a uh, light down. <laughs> hey, get over here. Hey, get over here. Hey, get over here. There we go. Alright, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Come on, get over here. There we go. Now, I don't remember which of these doors goes where. The only one I know is that this door leads to Blight Town. Oh, yeah, this guy. Hi, Shamai. Hi, <sighs> That's right. Oh, I think his armor is by Quilog's sister. That's right. That is actually, that's real, that's the true lore right there. It's actually true. Yeah, Quilog's sister creates that armor for Kirk Knight of Thorns, which rules. Super cool. Oh, yeah. He's got crystal gear, which breaks super easy and isn't that good, but it does look stylish as hell. And his armor is very, it's just a weird one. From the land of Xena, which I don't think we ever hear about in any of the other Dark Souls games. But yeah, that's right. Helm of the Wise, Armor of the Glorious. 
He's a uh, he's got a decent opinion of himself, I think, just judging by that armor. And the bottomless box lets you manage your inventory, which is helpful. But eventually he'll move to a more convenient place that is not down here. Yeah, there we go. I like his attitude though. That's a good boy right there. He's not like top tier like Solaire or Andre, but you know, still a good dude. Still a good dude. <laughs> rat boy genius. <laughs> I'm trying to find that giant rat boy genius. Where the heck is he? Uh, okay, that goes deeper in. And then I'm pretty sure this one leads us to... Yeah, this opens up the shortcut. I'm almost positive. I seem to remember going up this area a lot. There it is. Yeah, there we go. There it is. There's the giant rat. Get over here. Binge, let me fight you. It's okay. I'll find my way to that giant rat sometime. I'll get him. There's no way he's getting away from me. All right. So we'll go ahead and stop here. Wait. Uh-oh. 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 They made me get up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't rest. Oh, there's going to be an invader. God dang it. It's coming. All right. Never mind. Psych. You thought we were in. Uh, uh. I thought I'd end the stream right now, but nope. We got Dark Spirit low level. Uh-oh. That's... That can't be true. That's gotta be... That's gonna be someone high level who's pranking us. God dang it. Oh, there they are. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go over here so that if I die, I can die by the bonfire. Oh, God. Oh, he's got the full dragon thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Uh-oh. Dropped an item. I don't know if I like where this is going. I know that there's like, I know this was a thing that happened in Dark Souls 3 where like hackers would drop items and then dumb people would pick them up and get their accounts banned. But, oh, maybe he's being nice. Or maybe, maybe it's kill time. Yep, there it is. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, yep, we're dead. <laughs> uh, yep. It had to happen eventually. Oh, yeah, he left me an indictment. Actually, sure, I'll use it on him. <laughs> yeah, if you have indictments, you can use them on people to kill you. That's actually really hilarious. You know what? I'm glad I got invaded by them of all people. <laughs> all right, let me spend my souls. Luckily, I died right there by the bonfire, so, you know, not that big of a deal. Where is Faith by one? Get it up to that even number. And then, oh yeah, I wanted more stamina, so we'll go endurance up to 17. Honestly, that could have been way worse. At least he, at least he killed me quickly. <laughs> uh, all right, as always, when you die, try your best to have a good spirit about it. That's that's what life is about. Well, I shouldn't say that's what life is about, because you only get to die once. But anyways, you know what I mean. Talking about them video gamings. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll go ahead and reverse my hollowing too, so that when I'm on the Next time I load into my character, I'm not floppy bacon. There we go. There's my human skin. All right. I think we're going to end it right there. Thanks so much for joining. I know Dark Souls is pretty different from what we usually do on here, but uh, thanks so much for joining. On Monday, we'll be back with, uh, we'll be starting Heaven Will Be Mine, which came out very somewhat recently. Super exciting mecha game. I'm very excited to play. But thanks, uh, thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bada bing, bada bing.